was called Metal Gear Mondays. And it was where the, um, this group of three friends would play through the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Uh, two of them had played all of them, and one of them had never played a Metal Gear before. So my favorite segment was always at the beginning of the episode. It would be called Fumbling in the Dark with Isaac, where he would try to recall what he did the last time. Oh, right. So I was thinking about giving a shot, uh, giving a shot at it because Halo 2 had me pretty confused, and I think I know what's going on, but if you don't mind, I could try to recount what I remember. Yeah, of course. No, that's that's great for a pre-stream thing. Please, I will indulge so, you. Okay, so we had uh, we had the the graboids from from Tremors. We had that one guy, Gravemind, who, uh, from all I know right now, is some sinister element that controls the flood. Uh, that perhaps was at war with the forerunners at some point. Anyway, he had captured uh, the Arbiter and Master Chief, and basically gave them each a mission to do. Um, I don't exa I don't remember. I I'm kind of uh, vague on what happened to the Arbiter at the end. You might have to refresh me on that. But uh, Chief got into a Forerunner ship and uh, went somewhere, which I again I don't remember. I think it was another Halo, and he met up with some Marines. I believe is that where we're at. Close. And also, and also Cortana, uh, you know, sacrificed herself uh, to blow up the ship. So I'm assuming Halo Three is going to be about finding Cortana. That's what I. That's where I'm at. Cool. Yeah. No. This mostly like nailed. Uh, mostly nailed that one, because how how it ended is Chief gets on the the ship that uh, was headed to headed to Earth, which uh, the Prophet of Truth was on. So, um, that's where Chief ended up at the end of the game, because he's like, Sir, finishing this fight. Um, <laughs> Johnson is still on the bridge, according to Shredderns. So, Johnson's still, <laughs> Johnson's still on the bridge. Um, and Arbiter is with Johnson and Miranda after they prevented the ring from being fired. Um, but then the monitor 343 Guilty Spark was like, oh, all the other Halos are currently bit, like primed and ready to be to be fired, um, and you have to head to the Ark to um, head to the Ark to like stop it, or, like essentially deactivate it. So currently, every other Halo ring is primed for uh, activation right now. So that's where Arbiter is. He's with the humans, and Chief is on like heading to earth on that ship and then yeah cortana stayed behind on high charity um so she is still yeah she's still there with grave mind because after the credits remember grave mind was oh, like right. yeah yes. grave mind was like with her and she was like you will answer my questions and she's like all right shoot and that's how it ends yep so okay so yeah and, and from what we know um even though uh the prophet wasn't an ai or anything like the, the grave mind was still able to like access their thoughts and kind of control them so it's quite possible we don't we don't know yet that he could like get inside of cortana's mind uh if she doesn't like give things willingly uh yes um we'll have to we'll have to see how that how that plays out i'll do it just while we're here by the way uh with everyone in chat how does how does everything sound by the way audio balance all good me and dex sound okay everybody How's that? How's that difference working? Are we good? Because if so, we should probably get ready to jump into uh, jump into the playlist. Johnson's still on the bridge. <laughs> Audio sounds good. Cool. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Um, so we'll be playing the heroic campaign naturally. Uh, apparently, Halo Two co-op is the only one that had those issues where we would keep getting disconnected from the the mission. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how we go. I'm pretty sure Halo 3, I'm pretty sure Halo 3 is fine. Halo 2 was the one that we kept, we got disconnected like, I think like three or four times, like three of those times being in the final mission. So that was pretty, that was pretty fucked. <laughs> times the charm. Yeah. And, uh, I think it, it worked when we finally stuck with, um, Johnson on the Scarab. Yeah, of kind of going ex ahead. exactly. So, so if anybody's playing Halo 2 on that mission, make sure you keep that Banshee around johnson and don't go ahead 100 percent. all right um so heroic campaign let's go mission one arrival is this going to be one of those ones that we can't do together um oh let's play and see okay. i don't know how halo i don't know if it might be different for halo 2 let's find out 
it's loading the mission. I think we're good. I'm already shambles. I can tell you that right now. They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research. Watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Like the others, you are strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. Okay. It's <laughs> pretty damn cinematic. I didn't know was Cortana got to choose. Yeah. Was I wrong? Such a fucking cool opening, man. The nostalgia yeah. is real. This is so cool. Who is she talking? I'm assuming she's talking to the chief, maybe in like a message. <clears throat> we shall see. There he is. This ain't good. Damn. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Oh my god. Rigor mortis is set in. Foreman, his armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't know, Sergeant Major. For Vito. Heavy lift gear. What did he just take off the back of Chief's helmet? That's the that's Cortana's chip. Oh, so the, we skipped time, or we went back Crazy and forward fool. in time then. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. <laughs> Where is she, Chief? Oh. Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. Corporal, make it quick. Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. Oh! Hey, wait. Oh, it's the arbiter. Oh, my God. <laughs> Enough to worry about without you two trying to kill each other. Oh, that music. Were it so easy. Were it so easy. <laughs> I had no idea the Arbiter was in Halo 3. And they must love oh. the smell of hero. I need a weapon. Dude, that score? That, that piano? Oh my god. I was getting a bit of a, a bit of sound effects uh, delay, unfortunately, in that one. Luckily, the voice acting was all synced up, but there was a couple of sound effects that were uh, that were separate. Hmm. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for that. Hey, mate. Look at you. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> so this is where this is the game where co-op makes the most sense visually because we are two separate characters instead of being two Spartans. Yeah. Two so, sense. so this is so this is sick. So, uh, what were your what, what were your thoughts on uh, what were your thoughts on the opening there? I thought it was great. Um, I was a little confused because he had the chip in the back, but I'm assuming that's just like some kind of archive that any AI can fit into. Because um, at first I thought we had jumped forward, but very cool. It it sounds like uh, I crashed that uh that Fort Runner ship. Um, you jumped off of it. You you let you left it. Oh, that okay. that was so that was the that was the that was the light that like separated from the one in that opening cutscene. So you jumped off of that ship, 
uh, and just fucking landed <laughs> on the ground. Why did we? Why did we jump off the ship? Because we're because we're Master Chief. <laughs> okay. uh, no, but it, it's so good how it opens with uh, with Arbiter in, uh, being introduced here. So Arbiter's with us. Um, yeah, fucking amazing opening. It's so good. So, so if you're solo, the, the you, can you choose between Chief and Arbiter, or is Arbiter usually AI? Arbiter is usually AI. Okay. And nice. I, I'm noticing with the UI, this like I don't know if I've just l overlooked this in the past, but the UI actually looks like I'm looking through um chief's visor even though i'm uh the arbiter i don't know it's just a really cool is it interface. is it purple uh no it's blue but it, it it just it looks like i'm looking through like a visor it's oh interesting um yes that is a halo this is the halo 3 hud interesting i thought uh i thought arbiters was purple but maybe i'm misremembering i think that was only in halo 2 then because obviously he's supposed to be ai yeah, it's a halo 3 oh, thing though seeing the uh Back the HUD. Point. Over. That. Out. But yeah, definitely, like, the, the chip in the back of uh, Chief's head is, like, the housing for Cortana if she, like, to transport her between, like, terminals and stuff. So that's what he uses to, like, pick her up again. So I love, like, the visual rep representation of that chip in his hand. Yeah, he's a bit of a sad boy. He had a little flashback to Cortana. Mm. Don't, uh... Don't uh, don't promise a girl, you know. <laughs> don't don't promise a girl a thing you can't keep it, yeah. mate. Don't promise a keep if you can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Little stroke to start the stroke. <laughs> Bruh, this mission is so good. This game, man, it's actually gorgeous as well. Like this game translates so well still. Like, the lighting is so good. And then it feels like there's a little bit of a, a stealth element for the first time. Yeah. I wish. Also, uh, like, something that I'm going to nerd out about with this game is the water physics are actually really fucking cool. Like, they, oh, cre they created a whole ass engine for, like, the water physics and how shit floats in it and, like, the ripples. It's so good. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at your, yeah. Anyway, I never noticed that people... I never noticed that Marines climb up the side of this cliff because I never went down there. We're not supposed to go that way. I never noticed that they did that. That's so cool. We're going this way. I'll let you lead the way. We're going this way. This, mu th this music, man. Halo 3 is insane. I'm assuming that it's not a friendly brute. <laughs> no. Brutes are never friendly. Oh, look at that armor! What?! Yeah, man, they got an upgrade. Yeah, they got that Skyrim uh, mod armor. Look at that. <laughs> it, 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 it. Chief's down. <laughs> Chief's down. Chief's dead. He's hanging upside down in a tree. We're off to a good start. Tell your friend Tartar Sauce. I said hi. Tell your friend Tartar Sauce. <laughs> Um, feel free to give me updates in the chat, guys, if, uh, how audio sounds and if it's still all good and everything, mixed with voice chat and game and everything. We can find a skull in this game. It's the easiest skull to find in every in every Halo game, I think. Oh, that, and so the skulls, like those are things that add like. They're, things to yeah, the game they're, stuff. they're like modifiers. This is the easiest skull to find in the game. It's right here. <laughs> so this is what a skull looks like. Coming. This game feels like a lot slower than Halo Two. Oh, okay. You, can, you, can you just pick it up? Or? You can pick. You can pick it up. Yeah. How do I? It pick, I'm pretty sure you pick it up like the oddball, just like how you would pick up an yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oddball. Can I murder people with this thing? Yeah, I think Ooh, so. I, got a, uh, I think it's I got a. 
I th yeah, I think it's a melee thing. Oh my god, um, sorry, that just reminded me, the, the sub from Zweeb. I got a donation during the cutscene, and I wasn't, uh, and I was letting the cutscene play. Um, just give me, give me one second. I'm gonna get killed. Hold on. Um. I don't think it, I don't think it popped up on my, on my thing. Um. I'm so sorry that I missed it. Give me one second. Come on, Matt. We gotta lock it in. I know, but I wasn't talking during the cutscene intentionally. Don't worry, I got this. That's what they call me. They call me. Uh, that's my middle name. I got this. <laughs> it never. It never ends. <laughs> it never ends, does it? I forgot who it was. It. Uh... It might have been Shredder or somebody. It won't. Somebody. It, it won't let me update the. I'm trying to update the. Uh, it doesn't even show in my Twitch activity feed. I am so sorry. Can you please? Can you please holler in the in the chat so I can thank you, please? But also thank you for gifting a subs, Weeb. I really appreciate it. But uh. Yeah, I forgot who it was, but after I gave off like my eleventh middle name, someone was like, "I'm running out of hands and I'm running out of fingers and toes here, Dex." <laughs> <laughs> um, are you? You said you're having. Are you having problems with Streamlabs? Oh no, I'm okay. It just uh, it just wasn't showing. I believe that uh, Twitch doesn't show uh, when a donation comes through, but it does everything else. So that's I just, I just couldn't find it. Oh, you know what? I think that's true. I think I donated to you once and it didn't come up. That was, this was a while ago, but I should, probably should have let you know. Ripper Rooney. I think. Yeah, you'd be getting a thousand dollar donation. Don't don't even know. <laughs> oh man, uh, how to unlock? I would have been your daddy skull in Halo Three is super weird as well. But it's funny. Where do I know that from? Wasn't that a Halo 2 mission? Uh, I would have been your daddy is, uh, I believe, is a, a tagline for when you enter a mission in Halo 2, yeah. Yeah. It's like when it pops up down the bottom of the screen. I love those yeah. I love those taglines for missions. So good. Sleepers. Here we go. Baby! <laughs> nice and quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice and quiet, Arbiter. Nice and quiet. Well, to be fair, he did say Chief, take him out nice and easy. Nice and quiet, so that was your fault. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> I, the grunts sound a little bit different. Like they got a new voice actor. Uh, same same voice actor, but I um just I guess I think they really doubled down on like the grunts like comedic voices. Yeah. Um, but they, they sound very similar to Halo 1. I think Halo 2 is maybe a bit different. Mm hmm Guy was just freaking hit me with a brute shot. The, the brutes will never change. Oh, look, a sniper jackal. Yeah, and, and it never changes. War never changes. Never changes. Yeah. <laughs> but then you play Metal Gear Solid 4 and he says war has changed. War has changed. Gun control. <laughs> ID control. Oh, Dex is learning about equipment, everybody. Dex is gonna learn about equipment. I threw a plasma grenade at him, and right before it hit him, he put up the shield. Yep. That was crazy. So, this game introduces uh, equipment, which is... Um, I'm just trying to figure out what button it will be for you, because you're playing on keyboard. So I'm not sure. Uh, but it's my it's my X X button. So there's a bunch of different equipment in this game. For example, uh, the one that you just saw is the bubble shield, which uh, you can walk through, um, but you can't shoot or throw anything through. Um, so it's it's basically the the Nabu shield from Star Wars Episode One. Okay. Um, but there's a bunch of other stuff that you'll probably explore, uh, experience throughout the uh, throughout the campaign. Oh, it, apparently pressing shift. Um, and where it'll be on your HUD is there'll be an icon underneath your grenades. Okay. Yeah, I got nothing um, there right yeah, now. So, I'll try to pick one up. Yeah. So it'll it'll let you it'll let you know. Thank you, big man. Big man coming in clutch with the with the keyboard and mouse controls. Always. 
I remember when I tried to pick something up in Halo One and I freaking needed it myself. Mm. Oh, we've we've got uh, we've got new weapons as well. Like this is a new weapon on this on this one here. This is a brute weapon. Is it a brute shot? Oh, it's like a brute pistol. Yeah, it's they're, okay. they're fun. And dual wielding is still here. Yeah, oh, so it's it's fun. Yeah, it's basic. Oh, it's a full auto. Is this, is this the 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 gun that I saw in uh, the Neil Blom camp thing where it like spikes somebody in? Yeah. Can yeah. You impale people into a wall? Uh, no, unfortunately not. But it is that weapon. Okay. <laughs> Man, I wish that that got made into a full thing. God damn. That was that was like oh he spikes them and then they brought off the uh, the saw to like oh chop it yeah. down. Yeah. So I will I will let you know that uh, an upcoming game that we're gonna play ODST has uh, oh, some some, some similar Sorry. vibes. We gotta save him. Oh, my bad. We <laughs> can't stop. Okay. We saved him. No, it's good. We we saved him. I wanted to see I wanted to see you witness him like grabbing him because it's such like a it's such a missable moment, but at the same time he can get killed. <laughs> we saved him. No, nah, it's actually so good. If you just let that scene play out, that marine goes down like a badass because he's like, fuck you, I ain't telling you anything, and he just gets beaten to death. That's what um see. but so oh, good. Alright, I'm gonna throw in this bubble shield. Oh my god. Grenade. That was such well timed with that grenade too. That was great. Yeah, obviously you can see how like cool equipment can be for PvP purposes depending on like what the, what the equipment is as well. I I'm really um, liking the level design so far. The level design is very good. I'm I'm such a fan for sure. I do I do kind of wish that like they stopped at equipment because after this, this is when more stuff comes to try, like comes in, like sprinting in Halo and all of that kind of stuff later on. I'm not a huge fan. Master Master Chief can definitely beat a Xenomorph Shred Ends. Definitely. Energy Sword, that shit. What do you think about mantling in uh, Sprint in Halo Infinite? Um, mantling is fine. I, I love I love the clamber ability, that's fine. But sp sprinting is like... Sprinting's better. Uh, in the infinite because the just like standard movement speed is really is really good <coughs> but in halo 4 and 5 it was a problem oh Did you sacrifice me to your mission? whoa is Matt <laughs> yeah is Chief losing his shit or do we mm. have like some telepathic connection I'm not sure I've never played this game before <laughs> I've never played this game before about a blind playthrough. Oh man, Master Chief and a Predator together? Holy shit, so good. I love when I ask a question that I know you're not gonna answer and I, I look I look at your stream and you just got this look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> a little smirk. Ooh, big man coming in with more stats is sprinting in infinite is only a nine percent speed boost. So I like that. That's actually pretty good because I don't sprint yeah. I don't sprint that much in infinite. I actually just kind of mostly try and stay focused instead of uh running around watch this by the way dex watch that pelican watch that pelican ready Banshees! full hammer inbound oh You can actually watch the pelican just like fly off and just fucking like crash. Oh! It's so cinematic, dude. I love this game. The uh, it's obvious that you know Halo Two is totally redone with the graphics and everything, so it's an improvement from uh, Halo Three. But Halo Three still looks great. Halo Three looks awesome. The only thing that Halo the only thing that Halo Three kind of suffers with is the facial animations, uh, but it is all hand animated. Someone asked that question earlier. Uh, here's another new thing I'll let you experience, Dex, is come over here to this turret. Okay. Ooh. And get on it. And see what you don't can... Me, don't tell me what to do. See what you can... No, but see what, see what you can do with it. It's telling you that you can rip it off. Oh, yeah, you can... Mm. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, someone's getting their cheeks clapped. <laughs> I'm literally missing every shot! Here it goes! Oh, shambles. Oh, 
map. I put like 20 bullets into that grunt. <laughs> Dude, the Arbiter is huge! Look at it! Look at him! Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Arbiter's, the Arbiter's pretty beefy. There's a brute over here that died standing up. I'm so confused. Oh, more jackals. This brute died standing up. Let him be known forever. Oh, yeah, he did! Bruh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I did. <laughs> we'll take a little selfie. Oh, when you kill him, the armor disappears. <laughs> uh, no, like you when you shoot their armor off, that's to like signify that they're like weaker or more vulnerable. Okay. Yeah, the, the, their armor is it armor electric? Because it just like it zaps them, and then the armor just disappears. Um, no, I don't- I don't think so. Maybe it's like Daedric armor. It just like bre it just breaks. Yeah, the Brute Shot has made a return. Music's so- really good so far too. Like, Halo 2's music, like, was a huge step up from Halo 1. It, like, which is saying something, because Halo 1's music is iconic. Um... But Halo 3's is really good so far. I really like that. I, I do remember the jingle from the commercials back in the day, with that that really soft piano that we heard at the beginning. And yeah. Beautiful. Never forget, man. Never forget. <laughs> I, I really love the level design. It's it's fantastic. Yeah. God, I miss I miss Bungie's Halo. I miss Bungie's Halo. So we're on the Ark right now. Uh, we're on Earth, dude. Oh, we're on Earth? Yeah. That's so. At the at the end at the end of Halo Two, that ship that we that the Prophet of Truth was on that we got on was headed to Earth. So we hitched a ride, and then when we arrived at the end of Halo Two, uh, Lord Hood was like, "That's an unknown ship. Take it out." And then yeah. Master Chief Master Chief was like, "Don't shoot me, bitch. I'm finishing this fight." And then that's how Halo 2 ends, and then how this game starts is him jumping off of that ship and landing on Earth. So, oh, okay. we we back on Earth, baby. I did not know we've been on Earth this entire time. Did, did yeah. you ever say where on Earth we are? Um, kind of like it's very. It comes to like um, I believe that a lot of the places that we go to on Earth is. Uh, I, I'm I'm not sure of the exact, like location, um. But it's, uh, Sydney. it's, yeah, it's not, it's not Australian. It's not American. They have like primarily a focus on, um, I, I, I'm not sure on the, on the region, uh, specifically. Some, some place with a rainforest near a coast. Yeah. If it, it's, uh, if anyone else, if anyone else Any, uh, knows, geographers in the chat? <laughs> um, let us know. Cause there's, there's regions that, um, are very, um, Oh! Jackal Sniper! God damn it! <laughs> I'm not sure if it's African or anything like that. Shredans, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I was, I, like I said, yeah, thank you, man. That's so good. Yes, but, um, but, but yeah, um, Africa, I was, I was pretty sure, yeah. So that's cool. New Mombasa is Africa, yeah. Come on, you dumb apes! <laughs> Come on, you dumb apes! <laughs> It's not very inclusive of you. Yeah, Shredder, you're the freaking man. Or woman, like I said, I'm not sure. You're the human. Yeah, you're the human. These jackal snipers! <laughs> Sorry. Zed, no worries. You kept me waiting, but you're here. I think at this point, just for a Metal Gear Solid reference, people will literally keep you waiting on purpose. Oh god, there's a brute in here. I just thought it was Grunts. Wait, where is he? Oh! <laughs> He's just hiding in the bubble. Come here, bubble oh. boy. Oh! <laughs> he died anyway! Ooh! Something that, the, something that they fixed, uh, which I really like about... Uh, which Something that I like about Halo 3 that they've changed is when you die, you actually have full control over the camera. So, I, instead of it being like in a fixed point, I can actually see what you're doing. Find Johnson before he's captured. 
By the way, I literally had no Oh my god, you're getting your cheeks clapped. <laughs> I'M THE JACKAL SNIPER AGAIN! <laughs> Grunts are so tough when you don't shoot them in the head. I thought they'd be nerfed in Halo 3. They are ridiculous. You, I, yes, I let you I let you walk over so you could pick his up because he never got to throw it. So, there you go. Whenever you want to throw that down. There we go. Right. There you go. I got him! Don't worry! Alright, never mind. You go. Oh! I got jackal sniped. <laughs> Here, I'm falling back. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm alive. There we go. All these freaking jackals. Well, good thing that we're not playing on Legendary. And also, it's a good thing that these aren't Halo 2 jackals, because otherwise we'd be in a world of pain. Yeah, Halo 2 Jackals, you'd be out there snorting G Fuel. Barbecue King plays games, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed Mass Effect. I miss it already. Here you go, there's nowhere to run. He's our crashed pelican. Got a Black Hawk down. Yeah, you wanna you wanna come check it out? There might be something here you you, you Matt, like. Please, I'm getting murdered by jackals right now. What are you doing to me? There might be something that you like down here. Ooh, I cannot pick up that sniper rifle. You know, I'm on the input delay. <laughs> I, I can get it then. That's all you. I will take this uh, assault rifle though. Can we can we talk to them? No. Nah. But I love the, I love the, uh, I didn't pick up on this detail actually of when I've played before, is that's, it's the crow's nest that's trying to communicate with us. That'll be relevant later. Okay. And by later, I mean like real soon. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Don't worry, map, I'm coming. I know you can't. What? Oh my god. No! so sick of these freaking jackals. <laughs> ID control. Nano machine, son. Oh, I saw that that tweet by Konami. That was pretty funny. Yeah. They thought they were slick. Now it's just like, all right, hurry up, guys. Rele <laughs> release release some Metal Gear Solid on on modern platforms now, please. Um Sony. How long has it been since I've played Halo 3? Uh, like, the campaign specifically, like, quite a few years. I haven't played any of the campaigns in quite a few years. Uh, so it's... This is a great way to revisit them. Oh, Shredders. I'm way too hyped for Spider-Man 2. And the new Wolverine. I, uh... I reacted to those trailers in the, uh... In, in a live stream reaction thingy. Posted on YouTube. I can't remember. Quid pro quo. Yeah. I will help you spread. Is that Johnson? Yeah. <laughs> Just gets yeeted into the into the thing. <laughs> All right, so we got to rescue him. How do you want to? How do you want to? Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you want to do this? Um. I've got a sniper, so I can provide support. But we have to go down here, cross that bridge, and get into that room. That's our plan. Oh, we took too long. <laughs> Jackal's got eyes. They saw us. Baby! Oh, I just got sniped! No! <laughs> Baby! Alright, you've done well. You've, do you've done well. Every time! So I started blasting. <laughs> so I started blasting. Alright, how do you want to play this? Alright, I'm going. I'm going to stealth to the right. Alright, I'm going to let you... Uh, I'm going to let you make the first move, and then I'm going to provide cover. Okay. Sam Fisher, baby. I can't see... Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, just cover me. If you could take out those jackal snipers. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got I've got one. And I've got the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Continu continue. Continue. Yeah. Impressive snake. Emba embarrassing snake. 
Oh, he's a little bubble boy. All right, where's my battle? Oh man, the Wolverine Origins game was so good. Uh, that was sick. I loved that game. <laughs> I got the grunt. Suicide grunt. Yep. Oh no! There you go. Oh my God! There's so many coming down this bridge. Oh, God, please. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching. What are you watching. I want you to experience. I want you to experience the gravity hammer brute at least once in your lifetime. <laughs> All right, what's up, baby? Oh! <laughs> okay. it's like that time I, uh, I was on the scarab by myself, and you're like, "You are being supported." <laughs> you are being supported. And you need me. <laughs> so sometimes there are things that just need to be experienced on your own. I see. I'm definitely su I'm definitely supporting I'm definitely supporting you this time. Um, I can't I can't see the gravity hammer brute though, so you might have to lure him out. He's he's hiding or so I can't see him. These grunts are just running around doing the macarena. Sweet gravy, thank you so much for the kind words. I'm glad you enjoyed Silent Hill. Oh, the gravity hammer dude is here. What the fuck? What are you doing? Here, uh, check. Zoom on. Zoom on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You need to work on your. You need to work on your teabagging. It needs to be slow and hard. You need to. You, you need to really. When you. When you. When you tea. When you teabag, you need to drag the nuts over the face slowly, slowly and romantically. Map, you're talking to the 2003 uh, Westford, Connecticut, uh, GameStop Halo One. FFA champion. All right. Well, I'm. I'm gonna need you to turn around because I've, they've got a weapon for you. You need a weapon. I've got it for you. I thought you were gonna say <clears> me. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got, I've got, uh, I've got a weapon and some equipment for you, and they're right on the, okay. they're right on the floor here, and I want you to have fun with it. Let me get that bubble boy, old Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, it's a different, it's a different item and a different weapon. Ooh, a flare. Yeah. So it's a flare that can blind everyone. I'll take the bubble shield, and you enjoy without using it on me. <laughs> This is fun. Oh, you got something on you. <laughs> That's my bad. I, I didn't think it would one shot. <laughs> right. uh, crazy killer, thank you so much for the prime sub. We got this. It's a strong weapon. I'm taking your battle rifle. That's fine. Hopefully, there's a, a weapon, an enemy for you to. I'm, oh, there he is. There's a brute. All right, go have fun. Oh, he doesn't know what's coming. Go have fun. Play nice. <laughs> <laughs> Play nice with the kids. Oh. Right, Let's go. Oh, that's like a little kamikaze grunt. Yep. Oh, my God. This is great. <laughs> there's another there's, there's another skull uh, in this level as well. Um, it's up there. Hang on. I'm trying to remember how I could, where we can get here. Um, hang on. There's... Well, you can also use a grenade. You can also do a grenade jump if you have good timing. Nah, but you're not even using me. Oh, well, I mean, I was okay, trying to... Because nice. you're the one who would get the achievement. Oh. Um, so maybe I should... Oh. But... Fucking... You need to... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a better way to do this. Hang on. If only there was clambering in this game. All right, I might. We I think. Oh, I can toss this. I can toss the skull. All right. Yeah. No shit. That makes sense. All right. One. Just whatever you do, by the way, don't go into that room just yet. Man, I'm over here waiting for you. Where are you at? I'm grenade jumping. First try, bitch. <laughs> Barbecue king. Ah, oh, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> How did you get up here? What the fuck? <laughs> Don't you worry about that. You can't give me this weapon and not think that I'm going to do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow! I didn't even know that you fucking got up here. It was just perfect stealth. <laughs> perfect stealth snake. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I worked so hard to get up there to die immediately. <laughs> I'll sh I just... Here, I'll show you. Uh, so, at the end of this, like, little corridor, you see where that dead grunt is? Yeah. You could just hop on that right Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, that's the way up. Yeah, there you go. Well, I did it the cool way. You did. Uh, the jump, the, the lore, the... the <laughs> Way. Master Chief of the books. All right. I'm just picturing like like roofers in the Halo world. Like instead of using a ladder, they just grenade jump to do their job on top of a house. Exactly. All right, we can go in this room now. <laughs> okay. We definitely. Charlie, you know that's what you learn on a blind playthrough. <laughs> Ironically. <laughs> just... We gotta see how Johnson's doing. Oh, Johnson. <laughs> Alright, we gotta cut. We cut the power? We just shoot this thing? Deactivate. No! No! Just just hold RB to deactivate plasma shield, bruh. <laughs> just says hold. No, so. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. Oh my god. You really gonna take a take a skull to a gunfight? I, uh, <laughs> you gonna bring a skull to a gunfight? Come on, baby, come to this brew hammer. All right, go give him, go give him the pain. Here, I'll give you some, I'll give you some cover. The what for and how? No, get out! <laughs> 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 Bro, I was like, I'm gonna give you some cover for the gravity hammer. Oh my god. That's when he realized he fucked up. Alright, go and go and now give him some pain with that gravity hammer. Matt, every time you say you're gonna help me, I end up dead. I'm just saying. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm trying to give you an opportunity to get kills. <laughs> Let's just, let's start again. I'm going to throw down, I'm going to throw down the bubble shield to give you cover, right? And then you run through the bubble shield and bring, uh, bring the hammer. Bring the pain. Throw the hammer down. Throw the hammer down? Exactly. All right. Oh, I did it again! Look out! Bruh, I literally, I literally gave you the plan. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't right, go! Go! Easy. Oh, he's not dead. Look at the phys look at the physics in this game, by the way. Look at that. The the, the lamps the lamps react to the gravity. It's great. It really is. Let's try not kill our friends. Well What's the what's the glitch that you're talking about, Shredons? You both stand next to each other and both throw a grenade at your feet. What do, what's that do? Imagine it crashes the game. <laughs> I'm not even aware of that. Flare! Ready? Have a have a look at these. Have a look at the. Uh, have a look at the other phantom, quick. Watch the cinematic. The pelicans fucking it up from behind behind you. So, another thing you'll notice is phantoms are destructible in this game. Look at the water physics! Look at that fossil physics! There's some nice water physics in it. It's so good. Is there a banshee down there or something? Or is my game like... What is that? What are we looking at? That must be just a piece of the plasma. Or a piece of the uh, phantom. Yeah. Oh, this is where, like, you know, you go to ride off. And then it just, like, dumps you and you die. I got shotgun! Oh, how'd you do that? Oh! Welcome to Earth, baby. You both die. It's the best glitch. Yeah, that's a good glitch. I'm not not being hit. <laughs> that sounds like a glitch. Yeah, you both die. 
<laughs> Welcome to Earth, Will Smith, Independence Day, 1999. IFF confirmed. Contact is Bellican dropship, Kilo 23, over. Roger that. What's the word, Kilo 23? Sierra 117 on board. Quest priority clearance, over. Sierra 117. Is this still one mission? No. Okay. Yeah, that was. We are. Uh, that was. Oh well, I mean, well, I mean, we we just finished the mission. Is the, so there you go. That's that was the end. So that was all one mission. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then the next mission is cruise nest. So. I mean, it's a shared score. Don't 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 do that. Don't do um. Me. So Sierra Sierra. <laughs> Sierra one one Sierra one one seven is uh, Master Chief's call sign, by the way. Sierra one one seven. Mm-hmm. Where have I had? I've seen the one one seven somewhere before without the Sierra. Yeah, that's his. Um, like John John one one seven or something. Because his name is John. Yeah. <clears throat> it's his nut. It's his number. Uh, you say that, but also isn't Snake's name John as well? Uh, Big Boss. Yeah, Big Boss's name is yeah. is John. Badass is a named John. John and John. John and Johnson. I was really hoping in Metal Gear Solid 4 yeah. they would have named Raiden's child David. No so we've got we got Big Boss being John. We've got Master Chief as John. We've got Sergeant Johnson. <laughs> John and Johnson. It's such a good combination. Is Miranda baby? Let's get you up to speed. There she is. Mm-hmm. Looking completely different to Halo 2. Screwed up. Ships breached the lunar perimeter, smashed what was left of the home fleet. Terrestrial. <laughs> when they're like, uh, there's a fucking elite here. What the fuck? Truth could have landed anywhere, but he committed all his forces here, East Africa, the ruins of New Mombasa. Then they started digging. Uh oh. What about Halo? We stopped it, but only temporarily. Why are they digging? looking for something called the Ark. Oh, the, is the Ark on Earth? I don't know. Humanity, the Covenant, every sentient being in the galaxy. The rings will kill us all. Ma'am, I have Lord Hood. Patch him through. Good news, Commander Keys. Good as it gets, sir. So I'm Perlman. What's your status, son? Green, sir. Glad to hear it. Commander's come up with a good plan, but without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Truth's ships are clustered above the excavation site, and his infantry has deployed anti-aircraft batteries around the perimeter. But, if we neutralize one of the batteries, punch a hole in Truth's defenses... I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. It's a big risk, but I'm confident you... Not again. Uh -oh. Emergency generators, now! Shielding failed. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. Let him know- You are all of you vermin. Oh, Jesus. Cowering Not him again. Dirt, thinking, what, I wonder, that you might escape the coming fire? No. Your world will burn until its surface is but glass. And not even your demon will live to creep, blackened from its hole to mar the reflection of our passage, the culmination of our journey. For your destruction is the will of the gods, and I, I am their instrument. God, Can't wait to stick a bubble shield. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Johnson. Julie mentioned me. Give the order. We're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel. The wounded. Code alpha we're getting all of them out. We need evacuation. I'm about to carry them myself. <laughs> Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? <clears throat> to war. To war! To war! Yeah, my sound effects are glitched in my cutscenes where they play earlier. I'm glad the voice acting is in, in sync at least. I can deal with sound effects being weirdly uh, out of sync. But that's fine. Johnson always says what's on my mind. Any of our birds squawking? Yeah. 
any of our birds squawking? <clears throat> Arbiter looks so weird with no weapons in his hands. Look at look at this stream. <laughs> look at how you look. <laughs> you look like you have Bell's palsy or something. Uh, you okay? <laughs> what, what do I look like? Let's see. I look good. <laughs> you look like you're ready to. You look like you're ready to gra grab some ass. Hey, Chief, you're, uh, you're there is there is a ch there is a cheeky skull placement in this level. It's funny that I remember where Halo 3's skulls are, but Halo 2, no idea. Do you want to do you want to find a skull in this room? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just taking a look around, kind of like taking it in. I'll give you a I'll give you a hint. You need to you need to be like a bird. Be like a bird, Dex. Be like a bird. Okay, easy. Be like a bird in the crow's nest. I uh, just need to find a bird's nest. You know. Mankar Cameron, baby! The best villain of all time! Elder Scrolls Oblivion! Alright, I'm assuming I gotta get on these pipes. Let me show you how it's done. Oh! Yep, that's good. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good first jump. There's a delay. Okay. Okay. I see it! Ha ha! Nice. We have we have a skull hunter. We have uh, found. Let's go. <clears throat> Cheeky skull placement in this level. You weren't wrong. Well, I'm taking. Oh, yeah. This is so freaking cool. This is like, this feels so different from past Halos. I don't know why. It just does. They they, they went all out. They were they were like fucking Halo Three on the Xbox 360, baby. Let's go. Yeah. They really oh, stepped it up. Just the, the vibe. Like, yeah. the vibe just screams, like, kind of like desperation. Like, I feel like we're in a rebel base, like, in a Star Wars movie or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, funnily enough, the, yeah, they were right with uh, the Ark uh, is on Earth. They are excavating uh, in New Mombasa, which is very, very interesting. Get those turrets up. Oh, Terrence Stamp is the truth? I didn't, I'm surprised I didn't know that. <laughs> Cut, the chatter. Cut the chatter. God, I love. Or his voice sounds familiar too. Yeah, the it's a different voice actor for the Prophet uh, of Truth in this game than Halo Two. Low key, I kind of prefer Halo Two though. To be to be honest, just sounds so nice. Let's go, guys. You're gonna die. <laughs> Yeah. Lead the way. Chief? Good. This channel is secure. My fire teams are spread thin. We can't hold out forever. I need mage? that hangar cleared for evac ASAP. Uh oh. Sounds like there's some stuff going on. Yeah. Oh! No! <laughs> Nice grenade. <laughs> the demon! That's right, baby! There's also something I gotta show you at some point in this level as well. Once we clear this room. Monster! Monster. There's an input delay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, come come with me. Yes, come sir. with me. And don't don't shoot, don't do anything, just just listen. Okay. Hey, open up! Password. What? Need the password. You gotta be kidding me. What password? Password. They gave it out at the staff meeting fifteen minutes ago. Meeting? What meeting? I was out here. Not supposed to let anyone in without it. If the staff meeting just ended, no one outside is gonna know the freaking password. Now open up. We need <laughs> ammo and the chief is out here. Does he know the password? <laughs> he wasn't at the meeting either. <laughs> I'm assuming we're not getting in there. No. If I knock. <laughs> the Arbiter! 
let me in. <laughs> anyway, just a fucking, just a, a nice little scene. He's like, no one's gonna, the staff meeting ended fucking 15 minutes ago. Nobody's gonna know the password. <laughs> That's Monzo. God. All right. Let's 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 go. I'm getting the weirdest weirdest uh, lag at the moment. Uh, yeah, my game's like yeah. Seconds or so, it's like it, stopping and starting. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a checkpoint has come up, but but it's not. Point. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, look at this guy. Bit of stuttering. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, he just dropped so far, <laughs> bro. I feel like I'm in New York City. Oh my god. Yeah, you can kill them. Halo 3 rats, man. Don't mess with them. <laughs> god, I love this game. Let's fucking fight! Bad guys! Bad guys! I'm so happy that uh, Joseph Staten is working on Halo again. He's like my saving grace with like him working on Halo Infinite. Joseph Staten, the, is he the voice of the? He's yeah. Well, he was also he's also the writer for the Bungie Halo era as well. Okay. So he he wrote our beloved stories and our characters. We love this man. I will, I am looking I'm looking forward to Infinite. Of course. We cherish him. Be like eight months, but or so. I'm so excited until uh, we can co-op. Yeah. So I'll have to uh, avoid some spoilers. I'm still getting that lag. It's happening a little bit more. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's another co-op thing or not, which is unfortunate if it is. Yeah, Charlie, me too. Halo, Halo Three and Fable Two are the reasons why I went to Xbox 360. It just makes me wish that I got an Xbox original Xbox with Halo because I played it once at a friend's house as a kid, but I was always on the PS2, you know. So, I looked at my Xbox museum, like the my Halo like my journey through Xbox history, because um, you can check that online with your my, uh, Xbox Live account, and it's just like so sad seeing that. Unfortunately, I was never on Xbox Live on the original Xbox, and I wish that I was. Oh, I did that uh, that Xbox museum thing. Yeah, it's it's so cool. Yeah. I totally forgot I changed gamer tags. Oh no. Xbox, so I didn't no. have anything on Xbox. Uh But it, it was still really cool. Um I think yeah, my top uh, most played game on the 360 was Battlefield 3. Cool. Um It was so cool actually. It was so cool actually cuz I checked mine the first game that I played on Xbox 360 was Halo uh, was Halo 3. It makes me it makes me so happy to see that. I was just like yeah. Halo 3, 2008, baby. Christmas 2008 is when I got my Xbox. A much simpler time. I've been with Xbox for 13 years. But I didn't even get Xbox Live Gold until, like... I didn't start getting Xbox Live Gold until, like, 2012? Because, uh... I, I just survived off, uh... Free trials of Xbox Live Gold. Cause I didn't, uh, yeah, I didn't have any, I didn't have any money and, uh, like, to, to spend on Xbox Live or anything like that. So, I was, I purely was Xbox Live sil silver for ages, and then, uh, I would sometimes get like free trials and that. So you mainly played the campaign like over and over again. Oh uh, yeah, I played like the campaign, and then when I would get trials, I would just like play the fucking shit out of uh, Call of Duty, World at War, and Halo Three. Those were like my two main games, and then I started getting Xbox Live in 2012 with Black Ops Two, and Black Ops Two is my most played Xbox 360 shooter for sure, gotcha. which is what my museum told me. Yeah, that was that was a little walk down memory lane. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's so cool. All right, we gotta go back now. We gotta go back the way we came. Okay. Ba back to the op center. I'm gonna take a little something with me. I also just love that when you have a, a turret, it just goes into third person. It's so sick. It is. Yeah, it is sick. That that was when I finally saw the uh, how how massive the arbiter is yeah. to a marine. He's he's swole. <laughs> 
I want to assume that this is probably just like a bit of like PC co-op lag, uh, something like that. Yeah. It probably is. It, it's really not that bad. I, I've had worse. Yeah. It's not unplayable. If only. Uh, maybe you know. Oh, check the door again. I think it's changed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the door's changed. Um, Which door? Uh, we go back to the dude that was knocking on the door. Oh, okay. He finally figured out the password. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have hey. to. This is so slow. This turret. <laughs> yes. Hey. But it's so cool. You hear that? He's whispering. Chief's armor looks so good in Halo 3. Like, the facial animations leave something to be desired, but Arbiter and Chief look fucking perfect in this game. And it's so cool to see how good Infinite has translated his armor. It's like, Halo 3 and Halo Infinite is when Chief's armor has looked the best. Halo 2 Anniversary, also pretty good. Yeah, he does look pretty badass. There's no one here. Password is pineapple juice. What happens here? I thought they were, I'm pretty sure he was still supposed to be here, but he's gone. That's weird. No dialogue. But I, re I remember that as well, Scorch Jackdaw. I remember there being something else there. Maybe they took it out of Master Chief Collection? Uh, might need the skull on, maybe? Yeah, maybe. We can't turn on skulls in this playlist, unfortunately. Map, I need you to speed it up. This will be worth it in the end. Because <laughs> I'll have 200 bullets to spray and pay. Map, one of these marines is giving me a look. I don't like it. These, these things, they take time. I'm trying to efficiently jump through trust me in a second you're gonna thank me that i have this i mean i'm just a one man you know army but um <laughs> we'll see what you can do it's my middle name actually Sir, this way. one man army <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how long's that oh, no. <laughs> again. are you are you are you grateful now I'm grateful. <laughs> oh I'm... my god! <laughs> oh, they're coming in through the plumbing. I might die. Yeah, I need you to lock it in right I am dead. But the turret is inside. You can carry... Do you... No damage to these guys. Oh, fuck! There was a turret here this whole time. I just carried it all this way for nothing. <laughs> Look at all these metals, baby! Swimming in metal! Ah! I was just watching you get lit up. <laughs> yeah, you need you need a list for these for these middle names for sure. There you go. That was all me. You're welcome. Yep. Buggers. These guys they never are a never bunch stop. Of nats. I'm trying to hook up a timer. It might go off by itself. Johnson. Why does his voice sound so familiar? Halo Halo has some good voice actors up here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do, Mobius. We gonna we gonna blow this place. We got the bomb. It's a big, pretty big bomb. Last resort. Follow me. Follow me. Look at his slow jog. He really just. <laughs> I will say, I will say something. I was going to mention in uh, the cutscene before when we were in Crow's Nest uh, before the power went out is uh, all of the animations. There's no mocap in this. Bungie Bungie are really good at doing hand animations. I got to say. It's very impressive. Yeah. Hand animations are very impressive. Uh, there's something over here for you. Get to the barracks. Save those men. Something over here for you. Shotgun. Escort them to the landing pad for evac. Little shotgun action. Go, baby. Oh. The shotgun should be an infinite, and it's not. It makes me sad. There, there is a shotgun in infinite. Right? Yeah, but it, it sucks. Right. Would, would you like to open the door for the first time? Because I've opened oh. every door for you. <laughs> well, you're, you're a it's, it's a manual control. Oh my god, look at this. Are those hunters? Those are brutes. No, they're all brutes. And there's there's the gravity Where's hammer. This guy? 
Is that is that tartar sauce? Oh, he's going down. Nah, that's just so they just have like it's like the chieftain. They just, but they do have um. They do have like signified by rank with their armor. So, have, did you pick up one of the one of the? Oh, yep. Did you pick up one of the grav lifts? There's equipment here on the on the ground, and you can do a bit of you can do a bit of this. You can do a bit of this. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Equipment, man. It's so sick. The the brute's armor is just so freaking cool. Their whole the whole character design's awesome. Yeah. Halo three. Halo three is honestly perfect. <laughs> he really tried. <laughs> no. I actually got the I actually got a stick on him as well. That was good. I should have survived. Um, I haven't played. Uh, I have not. I want to though. I have. Awesome. I I just finished the main game the other day. Actually, I just finished the main story. So I need to play the DLC though. I haven't played DLC yet. Grav lift. I'm staring at the sun right now. <laughs> All right, Icarus. <laughs> oh, thank you for reminding me. Icarus comes out tomorrow. I don't know if I had mentioned that to you. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It's a survival game. It was created by the uh, the team that did Daisy. Oh, cool. Um, uh, you're you're seeing you're seeing another piece of equipment being used right in front of you. That green light. Map. I'm literally dead. Yeah, but you can see, right? I can. I can. <laughs> the the green the green mist is a health regen, so it'll constantly keep your shields regenerated. Oh fuck. Okay. Then. And then there's uh, then there's a blue. A blue version, uh, which drains shields. The degenerator, I think it's called. Um, drains shields. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, Shredders was um, sorry. Jackdaw was right. Um, when you kill this gravity hammer um, brute, he drops a very very special piece of equipment that I'll let you pick up when we actually make it through this segment. Okay. Gravity hammer. Gravity. Guys, they also those shields that are up as well are also equipment. There's a whole bunch in this game. It's actually so good, and they're all kind of useful in their own ways. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Whoa. A little bubble. Oh, he's coming! <laughs> no! Map. Map. Oh, I, I tried to grav lift him. It didn't work. Just lure him over the grav lift. Here, I, I, I can do it. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's running away now. Come on, princess. Oh! Got you got him, you got him. Alright, now, I think if you... He's dropped... What is the... The Gravelift's noise is glitched. Here, say no more. Did you... Did he drop invincibility? Invincibility? I don't... I didn't see that one. Oh, well, I guess he didn't. Oh, wait, I, I, I do see... Uh, there's a thing in my equipment that I haven't seen before. What, what, sh like what shape is it? It looks like a speedometer, like a like a analog speedometer. It's like half a circle. With oh, he nah. Line through it. He he used it. So if the brute used invincibility, he doesn't drop it. So unfortunately, he used it this time. That's why he was. That's why he was eating all of your shots. By the way. <laughs> that makes sense. Because he was invincible. Oh, I've got the regenerator though. Sick. But yeah, uh, Icarus is like. You're in space, and there was like these terraformed planets uh, that, like, terraforming didn't go that well. And oh. you kind of like go on these planets, and you have to do these missions. But it's it's kind of like if Rust was session based almost, because like you build, you know, you level up. Um, mm. But it's only like you know, the missions are only like 21 days. You know, it's not oh, okay. like a perpetual thing. But I'm cool. very excited. I yeah, I've, I'm, I've never even touched Daisy or anything like that either. So. It's it's not really like Daisy, but mm. there's there's some elements that remind me of it. Yeah. Creators are part of it. Okay. Ooh. Call the pawn. Uh, I'm pretty. Sound like Cortana talk. Ooh, what if Grave Mind like took over her her uh. All right. No idea. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything because I feel I because I, yeah because you can't give me anything. <laughs> No, but it's good to hear your, like, thoughts and theories of what you think could be coming up for sure. It definitely gives, like, some really good insight. Yeah. I, I love hearing it. 
Um, oh my God, these, I'm getting murdered. I'm like, is is there is there is there multiple skulls in in levels? I didn't think. I can't remember the skull in this one. Where's the skull in this one, Mobius? Can you like what? You can't walk in these pipes. Is it in one of the pipes? I thought there was only one skull per level. This is one that I'm not familiar with. I don't remember this. Under the floor, you gotta do a funky drop. Ah, oh, um. Uh, Jack Door, I haven't, I haven't played the Metro series. No, I do have, I've got the, the games. Um, but I have not played them yet. Oh, here, here. No! Alright, I saw what you were thinking about. Maybe Dex can get it. Dex, before you drop down, there's a little platform. If you look down, you can see. Is it like right underneath me? Yeah, can you see the green? There's like a green little arrow. It's like right underneath oh, you. Yeah. If I just creep out little by little. Uh. You gotta be ready to push forward, I think. Maybe you should walk off backwards. Yeah. <gasps> oh, <no! laughs> did the same thing that I did. That's alright. Alright, let's... Can you, can you hop on this? No. Oh, elite skulls? So that would have been great. That would have been cool. I'm pretty sure they're Spartan skulls, aren't they? Because they've got a little incision on the back. Or is that just a UNSC Marine thing? I can't, I can't remember. No, I think it's just a UNSC thing because Lord Hood has a thing in the back of his head as well. Mobius is very disappointed in us. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh! The brutes just literally threw them all. Don't worry, I got you, buddy. I'll save you. I mean, you did save him. That's good. <laughs> I thought he was going to die then. Nah, he's... No sugar water in those veins. Right, I've given us a regen. Ah, oh, damn. Are we, in, are, we in Amer are we in an American prison here? This is actually what it's like, from what I hear. Yeah, like aliens and <laughs> throwing people into walls and I'm dead. all this futuristic equipment from 500 years in the future. This is literally what Alcatraz looked like before they closed it. Yep. Oh, that's Black Ops 2 for you. Oh, that was a good timed bubble shield, my, <laughs> my man. Almost fucked me up. Oh, shit. Man, what are you doing? I'm being, I'm being smart. It's called being tactical. Get tactical, Marines! We really going for the the close range. We're really going for the close range, close range combo. Shotgun, gravity hammer. Yeah! Uh, yeah! Bah! So you gotta. This is the this is the tea bag. You gotta do sl just nice and slow. Just drag the nuts on their face, and then. Use the toilet in here for good measure. Is there a bidet? In in the year twenty five hundred, you'd you'd hope so. There we go. Oh. Um, I don't think I've managed to bounce a sticky yet, but I think I've done a grenade and maybe a rocket with the repulsor in Infinite. I can't remember though. Do you want this gravity hammer? I'm gonna take a battle rifle here. You have this. You have this gravity hammer. It's on me. I'll take it. It's on me. Here, I'll help you out. You can't see now. Fuck you guys. There we go, baby. Wait. Oh. What did I just throw down? What is that? That's a regenerator. That'll regen their health now. So you've really just given them a, a lovely bonus. You've gone. Hey guys, how would you like health regen? Don't. Ah! I got invincibility. Because he didn't use it. It's my. Oh no! Hang on. That's the degenerator. Never mind. Chaos! I'm just, I'm just bodying these people. Don't get in the blue. Don't get away from the blue. Oh. <laughs> the blue is a shield drain. Don't get in the blue. It goes into the blue. <laughs> it drains your shield, and then when it explodes, it can kill you. Uh, I don't need a shield. Come on. Who needs a shield? Pound him. Ooh, look at this. You did the best you could, sir. Let's get the survivors up to the hangar. There's an elevator I'm, just outside the barracks. I'm up in like a little ventilation shaft. I can I can see that. 
Is this like where we're supposed to go, or is this just like a way to avoid the battle if you want? Um, yeah, it's not where you're supposed to go. Okay. I'm lost. No, I'm coming. Never mind. <laughs> Marine squad. I love the atmosphere in this. There's like the whole thing just like collapsing. That marine needs to get out more. The one with the hat. <laughs> She's pretty pale. <laughs> Got that COVID tan. <laughs> what is this, this doing? We lost the op center. Brutes attacked in force. Couldn't hold them off. Crawling back to the hangar. But don't wait for us. Mobius Stealth. Hold it's my position. middle name. I'm not leaving without him. Disrespect your surroundings. Can we take this with us? Let all these guys get on. Hey, Ariel, thank you so much. No, Jax, get in! I thought you were in. <laughs> I thought you were in already. My depth perception just really was just like, hmm. For some reason, I just thought you were in. You took too long. You mean your, uh, your dex perception? No. <laughs> well done. All right, go have fun with it. Go have fun with the new brutes. Go have fun. All right, here we go, baby. Bop. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Oh, this is this is the good shit. What the fuck was that? What was that? Oh, he's got a little, uh, little jetpack. Yeah. A little Mandalorian. Oh, I don't have any more energy in this thing. Oh, that's you. My bad. <laughs> yep. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, that was, uh, that was, we, I mean, we destroyed them. Yeah. Drones, go. I'll cover you. Who? We gotta go. Do, 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 do. His name's Stacker, do, do, do. the, the pale do, guy? Do. Yeah, so he was on, he was on the Halo ring in Halo 1. In the op center. Flatulent Panda, welcome. There he is. What's going on, Panda? Get back to the op center. Here's some cool equipment for you. Ooh. So I have a shield right now. I... Ooh, cloaking? Yeah. Let's go. This one here that I'm I'm about to drop on the ground, I'll show you another one. I'll drop it out here. Uh, is. That is a... Ah... Uh... I was going to tell you what it was, Dex. With <laughs> why did you walk over it, dude? Tell me not to walk over. Because I was giving you a demonstration. <laughs> I was literally like, "So this is a trip mine," and as I was about to say it's a trip mine, you just go and fucking walk over it. Fucking hell! Like it was not my intention to blow you up, sir. We're gonna have to go to the chat. What do you think? <laughs> that was his fault. It was literally like this is a trip mine. You're like, I'm just gonna run over this before listen, before you get. Could have said, all right, Dex. Listen, I'm about to drop a trip mine. Don't walk over it. Oh my god. You did it for the memes. <laughs> Panda. <laughs> Probably. Fuck it. <laughs> Dex is going to try and set up a halo ring and kill Maple. I'm not surprised. That's probably what will happen. This game is really laggy for me. Yeah, we, I think we're getting it together. We're so it, I don't, I don't think it's an, I don't think it's an internet thing. Uh, it yeah. must be the game itself because we, if we're literally getting the exact same lag, then it's definitely the game. So yeah. unfortunate. Suicidist one says, "Sorry, Dex, but that was on you." Alright, where's the ban <laughs> button? Powers, right? <laughs> Dex learns practically rather than through lectures. I, I don't know. 
don't, I don't know what to make of that last transmission or vision, whatever that was. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I have no idea what it's about. I hate you. <laughs> no idea. Put stuff suicide. I wish I I wish I could pick this up like in Halo Infinite. I love that they've added that to like just pick up power coils and just yeet them. It's very satisfying. Button. Oh no! The oh! <laughs> <laughs> I heard the plasma rifle or sniper thing. Beam rifle, yeah. Once you hear it, it's too late. You know it's over. I yeah, it's true. I shot that jackal like four times in the nutsack. He didn't go down. <laughs> I wonder if jackals have nutsacks. Where's Siderius? <laughs> Siderius, so jackals of nutsacks. Uh, you'll actually find, by the way, I don't know if you noticed it, but we've been in this area before. This game does a really good job at making you go through the same environments without it making it feel like repetitive or backtracky. Like, yeah, the level design's really well. I remember yeah. this is where we fought the uh, brutes. Yeah. Uh, the one with the gravity. Hand. So the way that it all like kind of loops around is actually quite cool. It's unfortunate because uh, in Destiny, they struggle with that unfortunately um so and now we're back at the op center oh baby here we go no i wanted to watch the you, you're so not good at the stealth <laughs> I know. your heart is in it your heart is in the right place but this is what we have the cloaking technology for wait if you can die can we see the rest of that cutscene oh yeah sure all right i think i i think i accidentally cut it short Oh, I'm invisible. I was like, why am I why am I dying? Alright, hang on. <laughs> Pow! Probably Dex needs to touch red okay. Alright, let's use let's use uh let's use cloaking when we enter this room, because we both have it. So <clears throat> when we enter the room, we'll go invis and I'm let it good. play out. How long does invisibility last? I am not sure actually. Alright, let's use it now. Okay. Alright, there you go, it's done. There we go, okay. Yeah, now I really hear Terran Stamp's voice. Incredible, incredible voice actor and actor, by the way. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's great. Oh! Oh, he destroyed my fucking shield instantly. God, these deployable covers are so weak! I'm getting the business. Oh, God. There's eight. Oh, here we go. Oh, I got this, baby. Don't worry. Ah! Nobody, I'm open! Oh, God. Do not. I need you to lock it in. Gotcha, bitch. Suicide. I've been wanting to play Soma. I had asked Map about it. He said it was a good game, and I, I bought it a while ago on Steam. What are we? What game are we talking about? He's talking about Soma. Oh, Soma's so good. He said he watched your Soma playthrough today. That did it, Chief. All right. We got your exit. A service elevator. Let's let's go. Let's go, baby. Cut through the caves. Music, baby. <laughs> Oh, just let him go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, you're so sick of you guys. Dude, the atmosphere in this game, though, so good. Yeah, the music's good, too. I haven't said that enough. I like Halo 2's a little bit better so far, but the music's really good. Yeah. Especially when the oh. There will be a great deal of hardship on the road ahead. What are you, a fortune cookie? <laughs> oh, 
Um, yeah, especially when the Breaking uh, the Breaking Bad song came on, you know, Halo 2, even though... The Breaking Bad song, right, yep. It wasn't in there. <laughs> the Breaking Bad song. <laughs> Professional grade teabagging? That's what I do, Mobius. That's what I do. Oh no, it's the, the freaking gnats. They're all leaving. <laughs> because they all fly in a straight line, I could just do the fuel rod cannon at them. So good. Hey, Couch Dalian, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Side area? Nope. Shredderns asks how you like in Halo 3 so far. That's terrible, Shredderns. Don't talk to me, I hate you. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I'm really enjoying it. it I guess telling Matt that it feels like a, a very different experience from 1 and 2. Um, I don't know, it just feels like the, the humans are on their heels and like... I don't know, I just feel like a rebel. It's pretty cool. They put this guy back. He get, he got back up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, I, and I also like I also like that um, in Halo 2, like Map said, there were like two Master Chiefs, two Arbiters. Now it's like actually. You will become the best we can make you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So two uh, two Chiefs. Like yeah, yeah, two chiefs, I, two arbiters. I like that there's an arbiter and a chief, and it's like actual lore. You know what I mean? Like the arbiter's address, the chief's address, like in cutscenes and stuff. It's very cool. Yeah. I feel like this was made for co-op. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was, it was actually like a perfect way to have it like work out by having two playable characters in Halo 2 and then having them team up in Halo 3. It's great. Yeah. Um... There's something that I have to hold my tongue on until we've completed the mission, but there's something that happens later, which is actually a really interesting way that they handle co-op. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that soon enough. I just missed like, every shot. Uh, so it'll be it'll be Halo ODST next, and then Halo and then Halo Reach. ODST and then Reach, baby. And then Halo 4. Oh. Ah! I just <laughs> I, you gotta watch out for those. Yeah. I'm curious to see if Halo 3 ODST is... Oh, no! <laughs> um, it doesn't sound like... Well, it's not. It's not a main part of the this franchise, right? Oh. Become your home. I wonder if we even play as Chief. Look up. I think that'd be interesting. Oh. Yeah. Love that escape. Uh, yeah, chron chronologically, ODST is before Halo Three, but it come it, the game was released obviously after hmm. Halo Three. This place will who become your tomb. Who is she talking to, or who is? Hmm. Who knows? I'm so excited for both ODST and Reach. That's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I'm still going. I'm. St oh, good. My my favorite my favorite Halo games. Uh, like my favorite three would have to be Halo Three, ODST, and Reach in terms of campaigns. They're definitely my favorite. I'm still going with my theory that Grave Mind is controlling Cortana somehow. Okay, that's a that's that's, a, that, that's actually that's actually a cool like running theory to go with though. I I think that's cool. Um, so shall we continue we onto shall. Savo Highway? Yeah, chronologically, Halo 3 ODST is set before Halo 3, and you'll see when and where that's set when we get to it, but um, it's cool. And Stallion, that's how I found Map 2, the MGS series. Love it. <clears throat> before, before he had the beard. Before the beard. Well, I mean, it was during beard. I had shaved it. True. It just got accumulated with Soulsborne knowledge. Does uh does Arbiter have a flashlight or camo? When you I think it's four, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you've got a flashlight. Yeah. You got up, you got an upgrade. You got an Arbiter flashlight. <laughs> Anyone from Charlie too? We got separate. Steve Blum, baby. Steve Blum. Anyone from anyone from Charlie? You can walk. Set your boots on the line. All right, you ready? Well, this doesn't look good. Uh, hang on, I just wanna... It keeps giving me Covenant weapons, I just wanna switch them out. 
little battle rifle somewhere. I I I wish I I wish I I wish I did Metal Gear Solid One and Two a bit more justice, and I will when I replay them. But I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it in the end. I feel like it kicked into high gear during three and four for you. Yeah, for sure. Because you didn't know what it was, obviously, with one. Yeah, I, I didn't know how the hell it worked. I didn't know what the what the codec was actually, you know, how useful and how in-depth the codec was. I wasn't expecting, like, the level of detail and depth from a PS1 game. Like, Metal Gear Solid 1 still blows me the fuck away. The fact that everything about that game is so good, from music to story to writing, dialogue. Like, the amount of stuff in that game is is blind, is blindingly good. Yeah, your rea your reaction to some of the the cutscenes are hilarious. I was I was shocked. I was blown away. But I was like, this is like a uh, movie, like film quality, like storytelling and dialogue. I was like, the quality of the voice acting was insane. Yep. I love when Naomi's like, maybe if you come back in one piece, you could do a strip search on me. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is going on? And what game is this? and then I just learned that Kojima just likes to be lewd. Yeah, he's a perv, total perv. Um, I can't wait for to play Twin Snakes as well. Twin Snakes is going to be fun. Um, oh yeah, Snatcher as well. Snatcher and Police Knots. I've I still have those on my to do list. I got to do those. Oh. Oh. Oh no! You almost crushed him. I saw that. <laughs> Hop in, boys. I, oh. I, I love this. This is so cool. Like, while I wish that I grew up playing Metal Gear Solid because of how good it is and how long the series has been going for, I'm glad I got to play it for the first time and share it with you guys. That was very special. It is now definitely one of my favorite series of all time, very easily so. Also, when I was 10 years old, I, I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> I, would not have, I would not have been allowed to play it as a kid. <laughs> Still can't get the commander. Well, I actually... Like, my mom was pretty was pretty lax, but uh, I'll in a second. But um, my godfather's son, I don't know what that is to me, but my godfather's son came like a buddy of mine, and he was like six years older than me. And whenever I used to visit him, I used to play it at his house. So that's, yeah. that's how I got into it. Yeah, that's the that's the funny the funny thing about playing a blind playthrough on YouTube is I have these these fans I have these fans watching these videos that have replayed the game over their entire lives and you know played it multiple times watched so many videos on it like fully understand what Metal Gear Solid is all about and here I am watching it for the first time and people are like oh my god how did you not know this or how did you not figure this out or why are you so bad it's like bro I don't even know what to expect it's my first time. Uh, I, I gotta admit, I was like, I was, I, I never said anything, you know, because it's a blind playthrough. It, but I, I was screaming. When yeah. You, you never used your heels one time in the entire Metal Gear Solid Three until the. I think you. Well, uh, yeah, it's it's like I knew that they for some reason like I saw that it was a heel, but because it wasn't the traditional he healing with like rations, my brain just totally disregarded it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean that's cool, right? Challenge run, play the whole game without healing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I like to make games harder for myself unintentionally. Yeah, some people just don't understand a, a blind playthrough, and I understand where they're coming from, obviously, because they wanted it, they want you to experience the game like the way they experienced it, but that's not how it works, you know. Well, I mean, if they wanted me to experience it how they experienced it, I'd miss even more stuff, right? Exactly. <laughs> and then I'd look everything up after I finished the game, and then replay it six times, and then fully understand. Oh no, I've been. St oh no, I ran over the grenade. We're good. I almost got stuck. Are really rustling my jimmies right now. Oh my! Yeah, yeah. Take care of those jackals. Are they on the bridge? Are they? Uh, yeah, I'll get... they're on the bridge. All right, I'll get them. Leroy! Oh shit! Hang on. Let's try this. Again. Oh, I killed one. <laughs> Somebody get! <laughs> Did you... I killed him. He's like, "Somebody get me some morphine." <laughs> Alright, get out of here. <laughs> oh, is he dead? Oh. No, he's... <laughs> that was a pretty dramatic... Ah! Ah! Leroy! Dragons! 
Metal Gear Solid 3 ladder climb. Intense. And then every time I see a long ladder, it's just poisoned me now. I just, every time I see a long ladder, it's like, Snake Eater is in is in there. It's It just infects you. I, I think I've done it with you. I think yeah. I've done it in the past couple of Halos. It infects you in the best possible way. When I was playing Dark Souls 1 in uh, in Darkwood and I saw it, I was like, oh my god. Ooh, we got a we got new br we got new vehicles, baby. What are these things? Oh, uh, I've seen these in Infinite, haven't I? Yeah, this is the so this is the first iteration of them. The, uh, so it's the brute chopper. They're insane. They'll fuck you up. You should get in one. Map. You know who I am? Nothing can fuck me up. I'll show you how it's done. Nothing can fuck you up. All right, go get go get that chopper. Where is it, by the way? So oh, it's over there. Oh, there's the, there's one uh, there's one coming for you. He's coming. Okay. I'll try and I'll try and get him out of the. I'll try and I'm kill him. Around. I don't see him. He's behind the truck. He's over. I'll try and oh, kill him. See. I'm gonna try and see if I can get him out no, of the. No, I got this. Watch this. Ready? All right. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I actually I'm did get him. Because yeah. you know how good I am at hijacking and yeah. low. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> Was spanking a wraith for ten minutes. Wait, how do I how do I shoot this? I, I I definitely I definitely made some mistakes in my Mass Effect one, like when I was playing Mass Effect one for the first time. Well done, Dex. Thank you. <laughs> Proud of you. It's it's very difficult to control. Yeah, I definitely made some mistakes in Mass Effect one when I first started because um, I didn't realize just how integral all of the dialogue paths were and like. Um, all of the optional stuff, so I I caught on to that pretty quickly, but, you know, I missed some stuff in the beginning. The whole investigate option. Realized just how important dialogue is in that game. It's, uh, like, it's quickly realizing that the dialogue was essentially more important than anything in the game. Like, in terms of, like, combat and stuff, combat was totally secondary. And it was dialogue-focused game, so I definitely took that going, like lesson going forward into Mass Effect 2 and 3, and I feel like I had a much better experience because of it. You just made me, Matt? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. That's just double-checking. <laughs> um, but Tristan, yeah, dude, back in the day, like, oh wait. No HR issues on my ship. <laughs> Do a little, little propaganda. Yeah. Uh, yes, I do have more planned Mass Effect content. I've got to... Um, I'm sure that there's something else that I need to react to. Um, I'll eventually play Mass Effect Andromeda one day. Um, so there's definitely more stuff. I need to also do reactions to the Mass Effect, the new Mass Effect trailer, uh, as well as reading the comic book. So I was going to do some comic book reading. The problem is I have no time whatsoever as much as I want to do all of that. Uh, like I need to, I think my, I think my biggest priority is I need to sit down and record some more Dark Souls 3 uh, lore reactions, because I haven't been able to do that yet. Um, so I'll, you know, I'll get there. Um, but some, a point that I was going to make much earlier about, like, watching playthroughs and screaming at them to do stuff is, um... Oh. Yeah, how cool are the physics on this thing? I was just gonna... <laughs> you don't walk through it, it actually interacts with you. Skip a group. Um, what I was gonna say is, um... I rewatch my old videos now, and obviously because I have the knowledge of what to do, is I look at my shit and I'm like, "Fucking hell, man, you're a, a five year old," and it's it's I under I understand when you like what you need to do is when I'm playing a game blind for the first time, sometimes is you treat me like I'm five years old, explain like I'm five. All right. I can't believe we don't have a vehicle for a vehicle based mission. We are really just screwing the pooch on this one. I'm say that's your fault. I'm pretty sure that there's a skull around here. Unless uh, my memory is failing me. Look at this, Dex. It's a moment. Quick. <laughs> it's a moment. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so sick. The ship entering atmosphere. Yeah, I feel like there's a skull up here somewhere. Check that storm out there. Yeah, I feel like it could be on the pipe. I don't know if you can... Yeah. A little hurricane coming in. Um, but yeah, but Tristan, I meant to say this like five minutes ago. Uh, yeah, like I remember back in the day, like if you went over to your friend's house to play something, you forgot your memory card, you know, you were oh my God. and, um, 
I was uh I was gonna say too, like I had first like played Metal Gear Solid at my at the um my godfather's house and everything, but the first time I actually played it was Metal Gear Solid One came in uh came as a Pizza Hut demo. <laughs> uh, Pizza Hut back in like nineteen ninety nine or nineteen ninety eight, whenever it was. And I must have played that demo like a hundred times before getting the actual game, because like map, my mom wouldn't get it for me. Demo discs, man. That's most. That's that's how I played most of my games. Is uh, fucking PlayStation magazine demo discs. Yep, <laughs> and Game Informer, all yeah. that stuff. And then I grew up and I bought the full games and finally played some of them, like Croc, Legend of the Gobbos. Croc, Croc, Croc deserved as much love as Crash and Spyro. All right, let's calm down now. Yeah. No, Croc deserved to continue past having two games. <laughs> I remember uh, you did a stream, this was like a while ago, I think you were playing Final Fantasy, and we took like an hour and you kind of just went over your whole collection, and I remember you, oh, yeah. <laughs> you uh, about back in the day, you played a lot of demo discs. Yep, that's where most of my where most of my shit came from, I just, I had Final Fantasy, and I had demo discs, and I barely owned any games, and that's why I have such a, people are like, how did you not play this game? It's like, well, one, I had a strict upbringing of, there were certain things that I was not allowed to interact with, and had no money. <laughs> um and uh i was just all i did was replay final fantasy i was a final fantasy boy i feel like the skull is under the bridge but i don't know oh i got a cutscene. finally a good connection mm. truth has excavated a forerunner artifact we have to assume it's the ark so have a look out here by the way uh you can see this skull if you look out in the distance that ship there, that thing, that object, all the way out in the distance on the floor, that's the ship that we got on at the end of Halo 2 that we jumped off of. The and we could... ship, so this mm -hmm. is crash site. Oh yeah, and it looks like it's at the center of the storm, and you've got Covenant ships, like, excavating this place. This is incredible. I passed it, it was behind the pipe? Yeah, I thought so. That's alright, we'll move on. Do -do -do. Ah, and what you were saying about dialogue being good in KOTOR and Dragon Age, I feel like, again, like what I learned from Mass Effect 1 will definitely make those playthroughs uh, super exciting as well. Um, to take it, take full advantage of the dialogue. Halo 3 BR go brrrr. We got a Spartan! <laughs> Actually, I want this bubble shield. I don't want this deployable cover. Oh, I have like a tic tac toe. What's a tic tac toe? What do you mean? Um, it's got four dots around like a crosshair. Oh, that's the that's the that's the hell three gen. Okay. Oh, look at you! Nice. Fucking spikes the shit out of that boy. <laughs> it's basically like the spiker is basically the needler, but without like the built up explosion. Yeah. And it seems more like the a faster fire rate and bullet travel. But oh yeah. And it's not it's not magnetic. Is yeah. It magnetic? it no. Nah, it doesn't track. It doesn't track. You come to my house. Don't call me a demon. Ooh, is there? Actually, he's called a demon. Is there a? Spe I think there might be a specific weapon in here that I'd love for you to use. Maybe if I'm remembering this mission right. Oh, actually, no, never mind. That comes later. Uh, but there are these trip mines here, if you want them. They're deactivated this time, so if you run over them, uh, you won't get blown up. You're going to want to use them for ve for enemy vehicles, that's all I'll say. Alright, well, I want to say again, that was your fault. Like, that person in the chat. Ah, chat, chat disagreed. They said it was on you. <laughs> but that was one guy, and I already banned him, so... <laughs> are you... I can't pick up the boot shot! <laughs> God damn it! I keep picking up, dude. Stop looking at me. <laughs> no, bro. Oh my god! Finally. How did you not die? Fuck. Oh, that was a Uno reverse. If I ever seen one. Hey, I'm falling back a little bit. Oh, no. I'm alive. Ooh, this music. Ooh. Trip mine attack. Ooh, my nipples are hard. Oh, you killed him. 
Oh, yes, my trip mine worked. Oh, watch out. Nice. Did he drop in? He's the jetpack inside of the tube. He's like... He's very clever. Ah, <clears throat> uh, there's a fuel rod cannon here, if you want it. Covenant rocket launcher. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, it's coming, suicide. It's coming. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. You tried. You I gave it a valiant effort. So, cheeks were clapped, though, I'm not gonna lie. Ah! I can't see. <laughs> I just looked at you blind. <laughs> The flare. Well, I gotta. I gotta tell you, the flare is effective. It, it really is. What? Oh, I got him. Oh shit! There's a wraith in the distance. I forgot about the wraith. Oh, MLG Pro. Where's my EDM music? Breaking bad. Ooh, nice shot. I didn't get the headshot though, unfortunately. Got another gamer. Here, watch this, ready? Oh! I got blind, I'm blind, I'm blind. Ah! Don't worry, map. You know me. I'm the king. Ah! I'm dead, never mind. That's that's the king, baby. <laughs> that's the that's the king. What is this checkpoint? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. That's awful. We're right at the beginning. That's a terrible... That's a terrible checkpoint. Did it give me a chance to right some wrongs? I mean, we can just we can just push past this group, I'm pretty sure. Because, I mean, it's just an open... It's an open path. I don't think we're restricted from just moving on, really. It just means that these marines will unfortunately... Die in the field of battle. Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, rest in pepperoni. Yeah. Oh. Me, me too. Me too. Map, I need you to lock it in. I think we have just got a checkpoint. Cool. But there, there should be a wraith here that we can hijack. I hear something. There it is, and and Chavez, way! Oh, it's these things again. All right, Come got on, it. Baby. Got hostile armor ahead, Chief. <laughs> I'm birds. dead. Mm -hmm. Advise you to maintain position until they arrive. Man, uh, the the armor has got like Sora feet, just so ridiculously big. Yeah, they're huge, big horse hoofs. Yep. You just you just take my finger, Bob. I can get you a new one. I there you go. There you go. Batman. I'm coming. I mean, I did actually kill the brute in this one for you I, with my battle rifle. It's on stream. There is tomato, tomato. visual evidence, but sure. Excuse me. This thing does not handle very well. All, the, all, safety rating. all of the brutes shit is just so thrown together out of garbage. Excuse me. We got it. We got. We got. We got. We got brand new ones if you want, and also a warthog. It's up to you. Um, let's do the warthog. I'm oh, that's one. Okay. What the fuck? Hello. Hello. <laughs> <It's> not... <laughs> what the hell is happening? I love Halo physics. Ah! <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is going on? I love I love Halo physics. That's literally how I park my car when I get off from work. <laughs> Just six barrel rolls. Let's go. <laughs> All right, now you make sure that you you don't get us blown up by wraiths because there's two or three of them. Absolutely not. I'm agile. It's my middle name. Oh my god. 
Those chop those choppers, the way that they're built, they're built to ram into vehicles, so. Are we going off the edge right now? No, no, we're good. Yeah, choppers are built to ram vehicles. Are we just Oh no! No, it's okay, it's okay. This is where we're supposed to go. Bob and weave, baby, bob and weave. That was that was flawless. Thank you. Look at our wheels, they're barely even holding on. I oh, smashed the blue bug in! almost took us off the edge. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> the maw, baby! Alright, this is this is it. You can't go further than this. Have fun from here on out. I'm dead. <laughs> Why isn't that trip mine exploding? What the fuck? What the fuck? There we go. Suicide is sassy. I do have a lot of middle names, Shredders. He's got a very big family. I do. Actually, I don't. But yeah. they have they have a lot. They have uh, they had a they all wanted they all wanted to contribute to the name. I'm gonna die. Please don't send us back. That was it was too perfect. I can't do it again. We definitely got a checkpoint. We did. I mean, this is okay. Because you can just drive through it. This is fine. We're, no, we're back here. Back. Warhog part two, baby. All right, I'll, I'll drive. Okay. Without all of the numerous six flips. All right, let's go. All right, baby, here we go. Just one flip. Nice. For style. Oh, you can do this. Oh, this is a little, little, little hack. <laughs> a little hack. <laughs> you got a GPS over here. Ah! Oh my, God. Matt, please. my camera's just oh, fucked. <laughs> Alright, we might not make it out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had so many choppers on our ass just then. Alright, hold on. Alright, I'm driving. I, I I can't let you drive. You you Aussies. I gotta show you how an American drives in, in New York. So there's only one slice left of Sabaro pizza. Alright, baby. Yeah, it's obviously a, an Australian problem. The wheel's on the wrong side. Yeah. <laughs> oh! That was a nice drift. That was flawlessly yes. handled. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I've seen Tokyo drift a time or two. Oh, I'm back. Quick! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, go! Oh, we got a checkpoint, nice. I am 26. I don't know how old Dex is. Oh, you got hijacked! Oh, you just saved it. Nice. Shit. Alright, I'll keep us in cover. Alright, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. I got the turret. Nice shot. Fly! They fly now! OPR? Oh god. We are kicking ass. Kicking names, oh, oh. taking ass. Taking ass, kicking names. What the fuck? I got I got sniped through the pelican. I got sniped through the pelican. Uh, I turn I turn thirty one January first. Shredders. New Year's Day, New Year, New Decks. Yes, sir. Smash the roof Open her up. No, I was so close to getting the splatter there. Oh, 
this is this is shambles. I am gonna get killed by that turret in a sec. Yep. Uh, well, you know what they say, guys. Thirty is the new twenty. Absolutely. Yeah. Did, did it hurt, Stallion? It hurt a little bit. I meant to do that. Nah, please. I meant to do that. Oh, I'm so Oh no, it was still working. Oh! I meant to do that. What are we doing here? I meant to do that. <laughs> I'm getting out, I'm getting out. I swear that there's a rocket launcher in here. Oh my god, they're, they're just flying around. Alright, fuck it. I'll just hide in here. Oh, I was pretty sure there was a rocket launcher. You're safe. You're, you're safe. Oh, we got a checkpoint. Nice. I'll take it. <clears throat> this is a pretty brutal final stand. 30 hertz. It's all downhill from there. Ban Mobius. What do you, why do you say that? Nah, 30 is great. I would know. Yeah, map is like 17, I think, or... Oh, shit. Oh. We are getting... We are surrounded, by the way. <laughs> we are... So, <laughs> this is... We are surrounded. You just fucking... <laughs> yeah, me and Optimus Prime just went off the edge. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a rocket here, but there's nothing on the floor. Uh... Just the away. Oh, no. Dude, I, I, we've got a really brutal checkpoint. Yeah, this is... Oh, no. There's like four brutes to your right, right now. I know, I see him on radar. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try... I need to back out. All I know is... All I know is 9 p.m. is the new 11 p.m. No, I'm not 17, suiciders. Dex is being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's boss ears. There's like a... What do you call it? It's a... The exchange rate. Yeah, there's an exchange rate, right? Alright, I'm doing I'm doing good. I'm hanging in there. Hanging in there. Hello? Oh no! <laughs> that, no one was shooting! I didn't think there was anybody here! Dude behind you. One of these days I'll come back to life. I'm sorry! <laughs> He's he's got he's got this he's got the strafing tactics down. All right, I'm gonna try and get the fuck out of here and come to the right with me. So we need to get rid of these fucking. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm dead. I'm not with you anymore. Okay. I'm not gonna make it out of this alive. Maybe. Oh, actually. All right, hang on. I might be able to get you. Okay. It's just that fucking turret. Why are there so many damn brutes? There was like two of them, two right. of them at a time in Halo 2. They're everywhere now. I know they're the main antenna. Well, this is this is the this is the problem when we definitely just ran through. Yeah, this is what happens like in the catacombs and Dark Souls when you go past too many skeletons. Yeah, and they and they're all just behind you. Oh, I fell. Oh, we're shambles. Excuse me, sir. There is also a, there's also a sniper here somewhere because I remember one of my deaths was at the at the hands of a beam rifle, so there is a fucking jackal somewhere. Those brutes are brutal. I hate you. Actually, he could have said brutish. All right, you get half credit. I don't hate you as much. Can I get away with being on the turret right now? I hope so. Yes. There you go. Yes. Let the hate flow through you. Uh, I think we're done. I think there's. Oh, is there one more? No. We're good. Good job. Check checkpoint, baby. Oh, no. there's one more. You son of a. Oh, there's two more. Oh, we got a checkpoint oh, at there's, least. There's a gamer. There's a gamer. <laughs> you just fucking ended his existence there, though. That's good. <laughs> um, how far is Dex in the Bioshock series? He's just played Bioshock one. Yes. 
We'll be uh, starting Bioshock 2 after the new year. Whew. Nice. Where were you guys before, Pelicans? Lord Hood, we made it. Music to my ears, Commander. What about the Ark? Fully uncovered, sir. And we don't have much time. Marines, the Prophet of Truth doesn't know it yet, but he's about to get kicked right off his throne. You will take our city back and drive our enemies to the grave they've been so happily digging. Ooh. One all right, final effort is all that remains. One final effort is all that remains. Till that to the Covenant. <laughs> Finishing this fight. Nice. Uh, what did you think of the end of Bioshock, Dex? Um, it was it was very abrupt. I think I'd mentioned that. Um, but and I had to have map kind of clear up a little bit for me. Uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I wasn't too crazy about the ending, to be honest. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna play Bioshock 2 and kind of reflect on it. Like, I loved Bioshock. Like, it was um, it was just such an experience, and I loved like the lore and how like the story was told and everything. And I felt like the the ending was just a little bit too abrupt, and it, they didn't explain enough for me. Maybe I just didn't miss like I missed a little bit. Um, I felt like I, I had a pretty in depth playthrough, but yeah, the ending was a, a little bit too abrupt for me. But as far as like the actual content within the ending, like uh. I thought it was really cool. You know, uh, Map and I had a little discussion about it, but um, I'm looking forward to Bioshock 2, and uh, I know nothing about it, so that's going to be fun. Yes. There you go. That's a good, uh, that's a good way to, to leave it. It does definitely like end pretty abruptly, but, um, you know, you did also murder every little sister, or most of them. Yeah, I, I kind of had a, a change of heart when I figured out that I get free shit. I <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, maybe there's something to this. But yeah. uh, yes, I did, for the most part, murder uh, the little sister. A future for them. The storm. But for when it came out, it was super impressive. Super impressive. Let's fucking go. Alright, why am I in the passenger seat? So am I. It's how this one starts. It's very cool. Getting chauffeured into the into the fight. Can you let up off the clutch? Oh my god. Destroy the first anti-air wraith. New wraith. Wait, this warthog doesn't have a... Uh... Yeah, it's a passenger one. New Wraith enemy type just dropped. Let's go. Ready when you are, Chief. Open the door, take point. We'll cover you with the 50. I got it. Don't you worry. Alright. Oh! I knew it was there. Yeah, Scorch, normally when I play video games, I'm like the good guy, and I said it in my first episode, I'm like, alright, this one, I'm gonna be the bad guy. I'm going, I'm going evil. Picked the worst game. <laughs> Picked the worst game to finally go, I'm gonna be the bad guy. <laughs> and everyone audibly gasped. Shame we didn't have any grenades for that part. Alright. Let a rip, team! Open up that 50 cal. Nice. I love how uh, the prophet is like, listen, I know you're going on this mission and you need to kill people and everything, but I need you to take this little apparatus that will spew my propaganda in yeah. holographic form. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay. Oh, well, well, contractors bit the dust. You see this? Yeah. Oh, perfect overkill on those jackals. Oh, 
So something I've noticed, Map, I want to uh, touch on really quick is obviously the, the Jackals and the Grunts are still fighting with the Brutes. Um, we haven't seen any of the Elites, and I was just curious. Oh, actually, don't actually don't even say anything. Never mind. It's yeah. good. It's good that they're in your thoughts. It's good that well, they're in your yeah, thoughts. Because I, like, I haven't seen any Hunters either, and then I remembered at the end of Halo 2, the Hunters kind of teamed up with us, so I'm assuming the Hunters and Elites are still like allies and stuff. Um, gonna... yeah. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. Oh, you got it. Tell that the decks with blood on his dawn. hand. <laughs> oh, four to the dawn! Atmospheric disturbance is intensifying above the artifact. You just, he just heard, Dex just heard over the comms, forward unto dawn, by the way. Moving as fast as yeah, I, I it, so I chat knows, I have seen that Netflix, uh, Show, movie, whatever you want to call it. I have seen four another dog. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't really remember anything though, except for how cool Master Chief looked <laughs> when he blew up that hunter. Raven, Dex. We haven't seen any elites playing as the Arbiter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we know. We. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Was that suicide? He's been. <laughs> it's no. We we know what he means. It, anyway, that's your that's your first anti-air wraith. It looks fancy, doesn't it? Oh my god, yeah. It's a... Uh... These fucking things. Gotcha. You just blew up my wraith. No, you can't get in those. Don't yell at me. You, you can't get in the anti-air wraiths. They're, fa they're too fa- Get in this- You don't want this- You don't want this wraith? Let me see. No, 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 I got the- I got the ghost. Oh shit, well fuck. I'll just fuck this up for you then. Baby! These wraiths die really easily if you just shoot the back. Their their back is actually their weak point. It's like the Death Star weakness. Okay. You just shoot them in the little vent, and it's and it's over for them. Just keep coming. So you're my uh, you're my Galen Urso. Yeah. Can I just say what an amazing movie Rogue One is? It's it's almost the best Star Wars movie, or like it almost. It is the best Star Wars movie. I'll die on that hill. Like, M Empire was my favorite movie. Like, uh, I, I grew up with, like, a single mom, and my mom yeah. would take me to work sometimes. Um, and she just put me up in her conference room. And <laughs> I, had, I had four VHS tapes, uh, or five. I had five VHS tapes. I had Titanic, uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, for why I... And, uh, what do you call it? Um, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. So good. And I must have seen Empire Strikes Back a billion times. That's so good. But Rogue One is just better. Rogue One and Empire Strikes Back are my favorite too, so. It's the same, yep. Good taste. We're down to our last mag, sir. We're down to our last mag, sir. Yeah, I don't want this car. Ooh, ooh, is that a, uh, what do they call this? The rocket launcher again? The spanker. The spanker, yeah, I always hear that in Infinite. Oh my god. I'm in shambles. Them. I hate the drones, yeah. I have defied gods and demons. Okay, this has got to be Grave Mind. I have, I love, uh, I love Revenge of the Sith, man. Do you want to, do you want to, do you want to get, have some fun on this warhog? We, you got friends. Yeah, let's, let's do it, baby. No, 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 no. Oh, you want me to drive one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then we have, then we both have two, then we both have two rocketers on the back. Let's go. Just be careful not to flip that shit. It's so easy on a mongoose. Oh, uh. That's <laughs> Never mind. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call you mongoose f flipper for nothing. <laughs> One down. One to go. Oh, oh, he actually got it. Yeah, the, the, the AI for the. Uh, Mongoose is pretty good. Unless they shoot you, then you need to watch out. Yeah, nice. Oh, he just, he just killed us! Yeah, I said, uh, yeah, until they accidentally <laughs> shoot their rocket in the complete wrong direction. Oh, man. You ready for some fucking spicy shit? Dude, look at how close this Hornet is. 
Have a look at have a look in the sky, by the way. New new vehicle new new vehicles. New UNSC vehicles. We got a we got a counter for the Banshees. Are you okay, yeah. Um Oh man, you are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not a rumor, Zerd. We've got official casting and everything. Oscar Isaac is going to be uh, Solid Snake. And uh, Jordan, uh, I always forget his full name, but the metal who did uh, Kong Skull Islands directing. Yeah, and he and he's and he's and he's in Death Stranding. Jordan Rodri? Yeah, he's the film director prepper in Death Stranding. Dude, my marine is not. Oh no, that's fine. That's I'm not an enemy go ghost. Yeah. Mate, you ain't. You ain't. How far are you in Death Stranding? Have you finished it, or? Uh, I haven't finished it, but it's it's pretty close. Um, I think I'm pretty close. Cause there's another cameo. I, th I think there's a couple cameos. I don't want to give anything away if you haven't. Uh, I've I've met I've met like all of the preppers at this point. I'm pretty sure. So I've met like Conan and stuff as well. Okay, Conan. Yeah, that was the one. Oh, I just killed somebody. Um, yeah, that was the one I was gonna talk about. There's a there's a new turret here for you, by the way. I don't. Don't, uh, don't break it off. Trust me, don't break it off. Just leave it there. Don't but like, yeah, don't. But like, it, uh, it's a, it's a missile launcher. Ooh! You'll, uh, you'll probably need that at some point. Alright, let's, let's go. Let's go this way. Something big closing in, Dex. You want, have a, have a look, uh, have a look this way. Face this direction. There's something, there's something, something big coming. Why don't we walk out on this? Why don't we walk out on this viewing platform and, yeah, and maybe, maybe we'll have a look. Ah, oh, the black bars are coming in. What's, what's going on? It's going to be a cinematic. Do not, no! <laughs> it's not an infinite crane. No, 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 stay up there. Stay down there. Just look up. It's getting closer. It's all right. I, I've got the view. Oh, it's a scarab! Now you, you're gonna you're gonna see why standing up where I am is the best point right now. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Should I be shooting this thing? Oh yeah, we're taking this bad boy out. Okay. Do you know what? What's really cool about this though is how different uh, taking out a scarab is in this. This is it's much different to how we did it in the first one. So like uh. We'd so you, because yeah, well, what what actually happens in in this one is, you want to you want to go for you're able to go for the legs, those uh those uh, marines that have the rockets should be able to should be helping. Oh, I forgot I had rockets. That's my bad. Oh, we don't have any more. Unless you're like me and you're fucking on the scarab already, because I was I had an vantage point. Map. I need you to lock it in. Oh, that. that. I'm sorry, dead. Alright. I'm, wait I'm waiting for you to get on the scarab. How the hell am I gonna get up there? I'm, I'm waiting on you, bud. It's shooting at me! I'm taking I out the toes. Yes, you need to, you need to shoot the legs. Sweep the leg. I have no ammo. Alright, we're in shambles. Um, I try, tr so remember when I, remember when I told you about that missile launcher? We'll try and draw its fire. Yeah, oh! That was gonna be my next move. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Yeah, this, this is a, this is a, this is a combat scarab, yeah. Where are these grunts? There's grunts on my motion. There's grunts on my motion sensor. Oh, this is so cool. You are getting shredded. Where are the grunts? There's grunts like on my the motion. The bombs are hitting the crane. I can't get to it, map. Look. Oh. <laughs> maybe you should get up. Maybe you should get on the crane. Quick. Maybe you should take that lift the same way that I did. Get on this bad boy. That was gonna be my next move. Yeah? I, ju I just fell. Hang on. It's alright, the whole world's watching. 
No. Oh, what the f what the fuck? Oh. Uh, I can't. I'm not driving this thing. You had your up. You had your chance. No, you know me. I jump on scares really well. Yeah, just wait for it to, I guess, come back around. I guess. I don't know how it works. I just work here. <laughs> oh, the the grunt finally appeared. What the fuck? Here, I'll show you how it's done. I'm, I'm trying to go for the legs. Alright, I'm making progress. I already on this got leg. one of the legs. Nah, but... No, you get you actually properly get the leg to the point now you can all right now you can mount it. Okay. Now you can mount the scarab. I'm trying to all right. I'll see if I can get you back to life. Why can't you come back to life? I'm trying to get you to blow up this scarab. It says area not safe. I know. Maybe but, it's the giant death machine next to you. But it's no, it's fine. All right. There we go. Quick, get on. Get on the scarab! Mount this bad boy. <laughs> okay. Now, find its weak point. Find its weak point. Hit its weak point for massive da damage. So here we have this giant enemy crab. We got there in the end. I'm looking for it. You'll know when you see it. You'll know when you see it. Alright, let's go, baby. Oh! All right, now we need to get the fuck out of this thing. Let's go, baby! You want a cinematic? Let's have a look. Let's do it. It gives you certainly gives you time to run away. Oh, we <laughs> defeated out. We defeated our first scarab. Well done, chief. I'm sending in a few pelicans. Well, we, you know, mainly me, but. We'll give me an assist. I'm sending in a few pelicans. There's a Covenant AA gun in the next area. Take it down and Lord Hook and start his attack run. Let's fucking go. Let's go, boys. Everyone's fucked. <laughs> Everyone's just say, yes. in bandages. It just shows the desperation of humanity right now. Is that we've got so many, so many injured. I am your shield. I am your sword. Okay. So, like, there are, there's definitely things that Cortana is saying that are Cortana things to say, but there are also yeah. things that are not Cortana things to say. A little Jekyll Hyde thing going. Hmm. Don't mind me. <laughs> Hello, is anyone here? <laughs> knock, knock. Knock, knock. We got visitors. Uh, yeah, honestly, suicide, when you like, when you blow up like a wraith or something, I don't know what's so like satisfying about like a wraith or a ghost or something, but oh, it's so satisfying. That's the fun, that's the fun, that's the fun with Halo is like, just like being able to destroy that shit feels so good. Yeah. Oh, I'm shooting Marines. That's my bad. Ah, oh, the bubble shield fucking blocked it before the bubble shield was even up. What the fuck? Well, he's never going to see Elder Scrolls 6. Oh, what are you doing, Bob the Builder? Get out of here! It's a war zone! <laughs> They're helping! Oh. <laughs> Volunteers. Alright, walk straight ahead. Walk straight ahead. Walk straight ahead. Have some fun. Give him a little tap, right? Yeah. Oh! Wait, no! You betrayed me! <laughs> oh my god, the betrayal. Uh, I... I just love, I just love letting Dex have some moments. You let me get killed. <laughs> it's all part of the experience. <laughs> Are you playing Halo if you get ki surprise killed by hunters? No. That's true. But honestly, I, I'm low-key like hurt. 
I thought the hunters for sure would be on our side. Oh my god, ow, ow. Tell that to the Covenant. Oh no, I want that. Hold on. Finishing this fight. God, the turret's gone. <laughs> Wake up! Time to die! He's- he's invincible. He's invincible at the moment. He's got the- he's got his bad boy shit on. There we go. Have fun with the gravity hammer if you want. He just sent me to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Yeah, you fucking eat that box out of the way. Fuck this box in particular. It's so good, by the way, if all these hard hat dudes survive right to the end, it's so funny. I've got a I've got a, a game clip that I saved where I kept all of these people alive, uh, and it was so funny to see them all at the end. Hoorah! Hoorah! Like you save them all. Uh I'm not I'm not sure. We're we're taking this thing out. Fuck, I love how cinematic this game is. What, we? We? I got this. Don't worry about time. it. Alright, we're taking out that anti-air cannon. Let's go, baby. Ooh, the music's hitting. Music's hitting. Lag's also hitting. <laughs> <laughs> Lag's hitting with the music on cue. <laughs> Everything's hidden. Time for the gravity hammer, baby. Ah! <laughs> Two regenerators, they got nothing on a gravity hammer. Let's fuck this, uh, oh. Okay, let's fuck this thing up. Where's that brute shot? Can you, can, can you hear that? The drums? Yeah, I can hear it through your mic. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Someone no, 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 it's fine. Outside of my apartment and decided to start playing the drums. No, it's, it barely comes through. It's gotta be running hot. Yeah, in this cutscene, when you save everybody, they're all just fucking stood on a rock, like, shooting at the gun. It's so funny. <laughs> Alright, you ready? You ready for this shit? Look at us! Who would've thought? This piano, baby. I love that. What the hell is going on with the, the arc? All ships, fire and will. <laughs> Halo, baby! Oh, all right. They were doing the blue light into the sky before it was cool. <laughs> well, this doesn't look good. That was fucking up. Sorry. Curse. This is the way the world ends. Curse. So epic. I'm just imagining like 15 year old, 16 year old me seeing that for the first time back in like 2007, 2006, whenever this came out. Oh my god. What did Truth just do? Yeah, what do we do, by the way? <laughs> no, sir. He certainly did something. He certainly did something. What is happening? That's a slip. That's slip space. 
that's a slip space bubble. They're all they're tr they're leaving. Okay. W what's this? What the hell? That doesn't look good. What is it? More brutes? Worse. How does Chief know? I don't even know what that is. Did you not see the the coloration? What was what was what was what was coming what was coming off of that ship? So, um, Truth has activated the the arc, uh, taken the Forerunner ship back in a slip space bubble. So he's leaving. He's going. He's gone. Boof. And all of the all of the Covenant are leaving as well. But then, out of the distance, another fucking ship appears. And then we play. It came out of slip space. It does. And then we play the next mission, which is called Floodgate. No. <laughs> God. <laughs> it it followed it 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 followed me home. It followed me home. Oh my God. So we got our chaotic little slip space bubble just waiting in the fucking sky. Spreading all over. Oh wow! Look at this. Mm-hmm. Find the crashed flood ship. Overload its engine core. We either Looks like an EDM concert. Or risk <laughs> the planet. Floods on Earth, dude. Chief, well, make your way to the crash site. That's the end of Earth, basically. Uh, we need to overload this ship. Uh, we need to overload the ship that they've crashed on to eliminate them. Yeah, we're not going to eliminate them. It's over. Earth's chalked. Time to give it Elon Musk and go to Mars. It's crazy how much the environment and the feel of this mission and this level changes with the flood involved, because now yeah. it's all like, yeah. All squads, I feel like I'm playing a horror game. No. no. We're in shambles. All right, that's. I don't want to hear that. That's actually scary. And wait, have we seen a flood brute yet? I can't remember if we didn't. No, we haven't. Because uh, we only go up against the brutes uh, right at the end of the game. Yeah. What'd you call me? I'm Master Chief. Dex paying so much attention right now. Oh, well, we are in shit. Oh, I just needed you. That's my fault. You gotta watch out for those. <laughs> I don't know if you heard heard that, by the way, but you 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 might start hearing uh, words from the floods' mouths. Do you hear that? I can't hear you. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. Oh, what happened? The the flood is speaking to you. They just said, they just said, Arbiter, show yourself. Did they really? Yeah, but it, it sounded, the, the voice sounded familiar, almost. I'll have to listen again, I did not hear it. Yeah, have a, have a, have a listen, have a listen. Uh, how much longer is this stream going to be, you think, Dex? We're at two and a half hours. I think this is our fifth mission, right? Um, fifth or sixth, yeah. How many missions are there in Halo 3? Uh, ten or eleven. So maybe we'll call this one the last one for today's stream? Yeah, okay. okay. We'll end it on Floodgate, because we are going to do it. We'll, we'll do it in two parts. Well, you hate to see it. <laughs> you, have, you have to witness the change. But, um, but we have been going up against... Uh, the, bigger, the bigger Flood enemies are the Brute ones, by the way, because there's no Elites for them to take over. So these, these big ones are the Brutes. In their in their charge form, being primal. So uh, Shredders, this will be the this will be the last mission of uh, of today's stream, because uh, we'll be splitting up Halo Three into into two, and we're pretty much at that halfway point. Yeah, the real time in real time infection for the flood is so good. Yeah, it's it's great. I, I, I love the touch of the, uh, like, a, 
elevated heartbeat sound effect. Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah, it's great. It's a neat touch. This is a very interesting point to to leave the game off because obviously we've got the introduction of the of the flood. So I'm I'm excited to see how we'll follow it up next time. It's gonna maybe be great. A little, maybe a little a quick little debrief after this mission. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty four hour Halo stream. <laughs> I'm gonna need I'm gonna need subs to keep me alive for that one. We need we needs to be a subathon. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we'll do a, a Halo charity stream one day. You'll play them all in one stream. We could do that. So then after, you'll probably die by the time you get to Halo 5, but, you know. Yeah. I'll die of no sleep. Oh my god, this is so unnerving. Yeah, the constant heartbeat, and then, like, the, the weird, like, scary horror violin, almost. The strings. Yeah. It's effective. We love Marty O'Donnell for his work. Chief, I can't trust you at any rest. It's not safe. The grave line, it knows us. I knew something was going on. I'm, dude, this, this game, I, I knew there was something different about this game. This, this game is actually, is kind of scary. I'm trying to picture like 14, 15 year old me playing this and it's, it's scary. It's got a great atmosphere for sure. Yeah. I just like, I don't know, so much, like things you were sure of. In like mm. Halo 1, Halo 2, like you had Cortana, you know, uh, the fight wasn't on Earth, and now there's so many things up in the air. Yep. And Gravemind is Gravemind is the one talking to you through the flood. Oh, okay. That's why the that's what the voice is. I probably should have picked up on that. Just just you wait. You ain't seen you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh God. Sergeant, What's up? They were all infected. What's wrong, buddy? You okay? I can see it crawling, sliding around beneath their skin. Oh. The floods. The flood psychologically breaks marines. Started to talk. Oh God! Their voices. Oh God! No one make them stop. Is he gonna kill himself? Nah. He's different to the other ones who would just be psycho. I did them a favor. Yeah, yeah that's it. I, I helped them. <laughs> oh, he killed them? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a nice little touch. This game, this game is impressive. Maybe, maybe I need to help myself. Maybe, maybe, maybe again. <laughs> pretty good voice acting. I think it's, it's pretty good. Traumatized Marine. PTSD, baby. Yeah, that's definitely not covered by uh, the American VA. I'll tell you that right now. Alright, let's move on. Uh, no, Dex didn't pick that up. There's a, wait, there's a flamethrower? Hold up, say no more. Oh. No, no, no. Just, just... Hey, what's this? Yes! <laughs> Here's my boys. This is like when uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin showed up to save the WWF from ECW back like 20 years ago. It's exactly like that. <laughs> oh, they all died. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thought that counts. It is. But they they also do drop energy swords. Uh, but now, now we're getting flood-infected uh, elites because it does it in real time. Well, you can't win them all. You know, you win some, you lose some. You just see how quick the infection spreads, that it's like they're yeah. dead and they're instantly in. Obviously, those aren't the only elites, but, you know, the elites are back, baby. You can hear the voices, Neil? Yeah, I hear the voices. I hear cool. the voices. The flood are a little bit tougher. They don't instantly yeah. die for a sword swing. What, what are they saying? You have to listen. I, I do wish that they had subtitles. That would be nice. Yeah. 
here as expected. That's what I heard. Yeah, there's some cool lines of dialogue. Bro, I'm retreating. Leave me alone. There you go. Oh my god, dude. That, that brute is packing. Look at that. Look at the size of his cup. What the? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> they they can they got that motherfucking thing on them. Yeah, where's Siderius? He's gotta clear up the uh the size. We got our popcorn. We got our popcorn back. Man, it's fucking take taking those taking bullets. Alright, now shredder has got to get banned. Everybody's getting banned. To, to turn on subtitles, just hit the power button. <laughs> it's it's old F4. To turn on subtitles. Hey, at least we're not in the library. That's all that matters. Yeah. I heard that. I just heard that stick. I, I heard that stick. <laughs> I sneezed and I threw the grenade. <laughs> That's my bad. You gotta watch out for those though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I do feel bad. You were kind of, you know, bopping heads. Ow. Whoa. Infected. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it really, it really was just a matter of time. It always is just a matter of time. <laughs> yeah, I'll take half the blame. Just gotta jump in the right. He's just scarily accurate. When I jump in the wrong place at the wrong time, and sometimes it happens twice in a row. Nah, please, just let me die. So funny that when it happened in Halo 2, you shot me with a rocket twice in the back. You kept jumping in front of the rocket. <laughs> Someone clip that. I need to watch that again. <laughs> oh, man. Chief, the elites are looking for something. We didn't believe them when they told us. It's Cortana, Chief. She's on that ship. Find her. Get her up. Oh, she's here. She's on that ship. You sure you want to end the stream? Um, I mean, what look at these fucking things. Ah! What was that? <laughs> I fucking yeah, they fucked. Bro, you ain't seen nothing yet with the flood. Yeah, look at my boys. We got elites. We got elites. Yeah, they're coming in clutch, baby. Look at them. Halo Three elites. Halo Three elites are the best elites. They're freaking thick. Look at that. Halo 3 elites are the best elites. I love how they're going back to the this design for Halo Infinite as well, kind of. Hurry, demon. We seek the same prize. <laughs> Hurry, demon. <laughs> but I guess demon is demon. Demon is now with respect. That's that thing that you saw that was cl clawing around, climbing around before. So yep, flood. Uh, flood have a long range capability now. You gotta, you gotta watch out for those. Oh, I'm in shambles. Oh shit! Oh my god, the, the elite is like sound effects or brutal. yeah, like when they're getting attacked by the flood. Yeah. I wish we could dual wield energy swords. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Also, the the range on those long range flood is nothing to nothing to joke about. They're fucked. They got real long range, so it it needs you to. It's a way to combat you just only using like an energy sword and a shotgun, like me. 
unless you get close to him. My only advice is uh, they are they are weak when they're set up to shoot, but they are like really fucking strong when they are uh, like traveling. Yeah. Dude, the elites are badass. No fear. This one is just get down from there. Fuck you. Oh, this I, I don't even want to imagine this on legendary. Yeah, it'd be pretty messed up. I'm pretty sure I'm not sure what these ones are. I think that they are hunt is are these guys hunter flood? Are they, are they Hunter Flood guys? Can you confirm? Because they're different to the Brute ones. I'm pretty sure with like the big arm and everything, these are Hunter Flood. Please confirm. Just living in the moment, not a cell phone in sight. <laughs> they're like Pure Flood. Okay. Pure Flood. So the so they do the flood not need a host, like they're well actually I guess the popcorns aren't really. They're like a flood, like they're flood in its base form, right? The little popcorn kernels. Maybe mm. I don't know. All right, here we go. Am I making sense, or is that a spoiler you can't talk about? Uh, I don't know. Um, it's not really a not not really a spoiler. All right, this is gross. Suck Anderson, what's up? Jones. I see the Arbiter was getting his squats in. Yes, he was. <laughs> oh, what is happening? Afraid. I'm afraid. <laughs> I am salvation. Gravemind is also Gravemind is also able to get in our head. I literally don't believe him. He is salvation. What do you mean? He's he's fine. He knows it what's up. Helps if you're not a giant, disgusting slug with a gravelly voice. Oh, this is Alien, Alien Isolation Part 2. Yeah, I wish I could also experience Halo 3 for the first time again. That's right, that's why we've got Dex here. Dex is our view, <laughs> is our view into the past. She's experiencing this for the first time. Absolutely love this. I am a timeless curse. Join your voice with mine and sing victory everlasting. No. I don't know. Next time, next time Gravemind speaks, I want you to like listen a little deeper. Listen past his voice. Oh, no, actually, it's too late because we're right here. Uh, there's a there's brief undertones of a secondary voice there. Just so you know. Okay. Cortana or keys maybe. Hold RB to retrieve Cortana. That's no, Cortana. I'm not making him play as the Arbiter. Chief. Cortana. <laughs> charity, the Prophet's holy city is on. Cortana. Dex loves the Arbiter, so it's fitting that he's playing as the Arbiter. I do. So, it's a perfect combo. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. I must act quickly before your construct suffers any further trauma. Wait, Wait what? Alone. What was he trying to kill Cortana? No, 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 no. Oh. Somewhere I can make repairs. He's trying to make repairs. On Why? You tried to kill Cortana. You tried to kill me. Protocol dictated by response. She had the activation index, and you were going to destroy my installation. You did destroy my installation. You damn right. Now I have only one function: to help you, Reclaimer, as I always should have done. Bullshit. Don't buy it, Chief. No. Oh. This like the, this spark is guilty, <laughs> or is he? No, no, no. It was like uh, uh, so guilty, but it was something like that. So this is three foot. That's three for three. Guilty Spark, the the original one. He's been in all three Halo games, and then the other one was uh, fuck, I can't, I can't remember, but it was the one that the, the Grave Mind had, the other one. Yeah. All right. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of his name. Let's pay attention. This storage device has suffered considerable trauma. Its matrices are highly unstable. Perhaps one of our technicians. That will not be necessary. Chief. Success! 
High Charity, the Prophet's holy city is on its way to Earth, with an army of flood. I can't tell you everything. It's not safe. The Grave Mind, it knows I'm in the system. It's just a message. Let it play. But it doesn't know about the portal, where it leads. On the other side, there's a solution, a way to stop the flood, without firing the remaining halo rings. Oh! Sorry. No matter, Oracle. You've heard enough. Our fight is through the portal. With the brutes and the bastard truth. Fine. We'll remain here. Hold out as long as we can. Did you not hear? Your world is doomed. Oh shit. A flood army. A grave mine has you in its sights. Survived a small contamination. And you, shipmaster, just glassed half a continent. Maybe the flood is all I should be worried about. One single flood spore can destroy a species. Were it not for the Arbiter's Council, I would have glassed your entire planet. Sir, with respect, Cortana has a solution. <clears throat> Cortana? Did you see her condition? How damaged she is? She could be corrupted for all we know. Her solution could be a flood trap. That's what I was thinking of. Through the portal. Find out for sure. What we should do, Commander, is understand clearly that this is humanity's final stand here at Earth. We go, we risk everything. Every last man, woman, and child. If we stand our ground, we might just have a chance. No. If your construct is wrong, then the flood is already won. I'll find Cortana's solution. And I'll bring it back. Earth is all we have left. Do you trust Cortana that much? Sir. Yes, sir. I don't know. The best decision you've ever made or the worst. Hell of it is, Chief. I doubt I'll live long enough to find out which. Dude, this is so fucking sick. Look at those phantoms, by the way. Insane. They're green. Look how cool the elites are! Yeah, man. Whoa! ODSTs, baby! This is such a cool cutscene, man. Sick. Yeah, Arbit is voiced by the same guy as David Anderson. Yeah, Keith David. I love how they're swapping gear. Um, also, you recognize the voice actor for Lord Hood, Dex? Yeah, uh, it's Ron Perlman. Yeah, man. Yep. Um, so good. Anyway, uh, that co the other construct is called uh, 2401 Penitent Tangent. Penitent, that was it. Penitent yep. Tangent. That's one of my, this is one of my favorite cutscenes because it just shows the cover, like the elites cooperating with the humans. They've got the fucking green colored phantoms to match the UNSC colors, and they're swapping, yeah. they're swapping gear. It's so sick. I love so that. good. Yeah, who's Dex's voice actor? I'm not sure. It's a, <laughs> it's a mystery. Um. So is is that is let's let's hear it. Let's hear it. Um. But yeah, that's that's all I want to do for the uh, for this stream. I think. Perfect. Yeah, no, that's a that's a good that is a great uh, that's a great ending point. I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah, when uh, I don't, I don't trust Cortana to be honest. Um. I know, like Chief has that like that blind faith, but um, I think you know Hood could be right that like she's corrupted. Um. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking right now. So, uh, she's basically saying that on the other, there's a solution to all of this, how to stop the flood on the other end of that, the slip space. Um, eh, I don't know if I buy that. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like Grave Mind's not just going to let Cortana go like that, right? Like, he obviously knew we were there. Cortana was just sitting there. It was, like, too perfect. You know what I mean? 
Oh, it was a, it was a, it was a message, not actually Cortana. Wait, what? That wasn't Cortana. That was a mess. That was a message. Okay. Left behind. Um, Gabs, thank you so much for the prime sub. Well, that even makes it more <laughs> like sketchy. Sucks, like, we'll, we'll just have to. Yeah, I know. You can't you can't like reply to anything I'm saying, so it's just, tough. No, it's it's uh, no, it's it's good to air out the thoughts and to see where you're at. Yeah, the what I was thinking was Chief was gonna stay on Earth and fight, and the Arbiter was gonna maybe go through that uh, that portal. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll find out what happens. But like, I agree with the uh, the Shipmaster. I think I think Earth is screwed, right? Because isn't it said that whenever whenever the flood basically get on a planet or a Halo or whatever, like it's over. Like there's there's nothing. Yeah. Chuck, so Chuck Norris can't save him. the the Covenant. <laughs> they did glass. Uh, so what glass what glassing means is um like it's in a in a literal sense they've just like burned the that's what the laser that comes out of the ship is they've like glassed that entire point to uh seal off or like you know burn away the flood in that section so i think it was contained at that point but yes one single flood spore spells the end for things essentially but yeah that's a that's a nice little that's a nice little cliffhanger of a, of a stream ending. It's a good point to end off at. We've got a message from Cortana. We've got a direction, you know, a place to go. And we can pick it up and finish Halo 3 uh, next week. So that's yeah. pretty good. Thank you so much for tuning into the stream, everybody, and hanging out with, with Dex and I. This has been a lot of fun, as always. Um, and so good to rediscover Halo 3 through through Dex's eyes. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be catching you uh, next week, same time. Uh, it's in the schedule. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do have my stream saved in my schedule. If you go on my Twitch channel in the schedule, it'll show in your time stream. So I'll be streaming again in a couple of days um, myself. And then Dex and I will be back with Halo 3 next week. So thank you so, so much for watching and uh, and coming along. And uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next week. Thanks, everyone.